Hello and welcome to Moscow, the capital of the world's largest country, home for 17 million of its citizens and host to the second Boulder and first Speed World Cup of the season. There's history around every corner in Moscow, as well as iconic sites, from the Bolshoi Theatre to the vast and imposing Kremlin. Now it's time to find out which climbers will add their names to the city's sporting history. Good evening and welcome to Moscow. It's World Cup final number two in the space of just one week. And if it's anything like Meiringen, we're in for quite the show. I'm Charlie Bosco. Delighted to say I've got Yuval Shemler alongside me. You've just arrived in the venue. So yeah. you're going to be like the athletes in the, the boulders for the first time during observation. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. <laughs> I can tell you, I was up on stage ooh, about an hour ago, and the route setters, I think, have put on a real show this evening. Yeah, I hope. Variety of styles. It's quite a steep wall here in, in Moscow. Yeah, I know. How did you find the qualifying experience here? Um, it was really nice. I think this come particularly, they try to set like kind of old school boulder, just more. Yeah, that's good. See there, Yane Kruder. He won. Last time out in Meiringen. Yeah, it was crazy. He put on such a good show. He's got his compatriot Gregor alongside him this evening. He climbed first in the semi-final. If you didn't see the semi-final earlier on, we had 21 men due to a tie in the qualifiers. Gregor climbed not only first, but on his own throughout, yeah. which isn't easy, but uh, set a, a, an early high standard. and. Uh, yeah, and I think it's his first final. Yeah, and, and naturally, when we were watching the semi-final, I was thinking, yeah, okay, he's top for now, but there's 20 men to come. Yeah, and the, the semi-final progressed, and he was still in the top six. And first final for him, it was only his second semi-final. Alexi rubs up. He's familiar with the business end of World Cups. Of course, yeah. Jong Won Chon. I think some of the bowlers this evening might suit his style. Yeah, I think when, it's, when it comes to old-school climbing, he's just the strongest. Hello. Yes, we're live on the. No, we're live on the live stream. We're we're live on the live stream. There's a lady has just invaded our. Uh, a lady has just invaded our live stream booth, and is thrusting a microphone at us. <laughs> we're filming right now the live stream. We're trying to uh, get rid of the uh, lady who has invaded our space. But uh, there we go. She's finally been got rid of by one I of the multiple burly security guards. Apologies there. That was slightly surreal, actually. Yeah, it was weird. That was, I think, a first. Anyway, we're on with observation. Yeah, now let's look at the roots. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a first for me. I mean, um, initially I thought it was just another fan asking for another selfie. I mean, you know how yeah. it is, but... I think it's the Russian TV, maybe. Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I was just anyway, we're underway with the competition. That was an exciting start. Finally, but some flat holes. You yes. know, I've been waiting to see them. It's always interesting to have some roots with them. Yeah, so in the semi final, we went left to right. We're going right to left this evening. So uh, men's one, women's one on the right, and we work our way slowly I think across it's the stage. Nice to start on a slab. You can like smooth, smoothly get into the climbing. Well, this is one of the discussions we've had a, a bit recently. Is it difficult because the adrenaline is going so much? Yeah, it might be true. Is it hard to calm down? Or, or yeah. When you come out, you're like so excited and like after you do your first go, you can like really get into the comp. And when it's a slab, you won't waste, waste so much power. I think for me, you can just like start easily and like just see the climb and when it's really difficult on the first boulder, you sometimes get tired for the rest of the climbs. Yeah, just to let you know, our uh, finalist tonight, you might have seen it during the presentation, Shauna Coxey is in the final. During the semi-final, our scores, and I believe your scores at home, were showing up that it was Sol Sai in the final with yeah. Shauna Coxey just missing out. However, I'm told that there was a mistake on uh, Sol Sai's scorecard. It wasn't a judging error. It was a transferring of the scores onto the internet error. Mm, all right. And uh, Sol Sai had been awarded a zone that the judges hadn't actually awarded her, and that was why she appeared ahead of Shauna Coxey. So 
Loic Timmermans and I were discussing that Shauna might not be that disappointed to miss the final and everything else. It turned out she's in the final all along and it was a, it was a scoring error. So apologies for that. Solsar does narrowly miss out and Shauna Coxey makes it. Ooh, second one looks powerful. Yeah, it's, it's a very when steep section yeah. of the wall. Root setters have hidden a few tricks in this one. Yeah, our six uh, finalists are actually in the women, not Solsar, but Shauna Coxey, Petra Klinglet, Miho Nanaka, Akina Gucci, Fanny Gibert, and Yanya Garmbret. Perhaps you could argo, argue one of the strongest finals of all time. <laughs> and over in the men's side, pretty much the same, Alexi Rubsov, Yerne Kruder, Gregor Vazonic, Tomo Narasaki, Gabriele Moroni, and Jongwon Chon. It's cool to see like some more European in finals this year. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they really stepped up. Yeah, and Gabriele Moroni somehow has never won a Boulder World Cup. Yeah. Come close. He absolutely crossed semis and qualies. Yeah. He came through to semis in first place. Were you in the, his qualifying group? Um, yeah. One, yeah, I there was, was one Boulder that only him and Alex Yeah, Kazanoff it did. was like, just like a typical Rocklands Boulder, <laughs> just hard moves and like old school climbing and they're just the strongest on these kind of moves. See there's Shauna Coxie on the left as I say. If you watched our semi-final broadcast you would have thought she was not in the final. That's certainly what we were told. But as I say, scoring error sees her in at the expense of Solsa. The climbers get two minutes en masse to look at each boulder in observation and they study them together and yeah, the men perhaps just look at the wrong boulder for a second there. Now, men's three is extraordinary. They start on a huge volume, which is currently obscured by all six climbers standing in front of it. You can see, yeah, Tomoe Narasaki just walking up to it and look at it. And they've got a jump from there to that grey volume on the right. That should be really cool to see. And uh, I, w I tried it earlier, and you pull on to the big volume, <laughs> and it looks like the grey volume is in a different city. It's <laughs> so far. Yeah. Uh, I actually asked the route setters to measure it with a tape measure for me, but uh, they were too busy finishing off. But still, trust me, it's an awful long way. You can see where Alexei Rubsov is, right at the back of that group of uh, the male climbers. Yeah, the finish is going from there. hard as well. I think you can mental and jump to a blocked crimp. Yeah, you... We we'll talk about when you get there, you kind of rotate to the left and then you swing your right hand through. And I mean, right. this is all theoretical. I'm not speaking from yeah, experience. Yeah. <laughs> Looks really complicated. I think the only way I'm getting to the top of that is with the ladder. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I had a good look at it and it's That's a spectacular a boulder. And I think yeah. the climbers might have been going through the thought process of wondering if that jump can actually be the move. But it is the move. And I was chatting to Robert, one of the root setters, and he's done it a couple of times. He said it's definitely doable. All right, cool. So the root setters are not speculating this move can be done. That's a really big difference to like see the boulders together in contrast to like semis and qualies where you face the boulder alone and you have no idea what to do. Do you like discussing it with the other climbers? Yeah, I think it's a really good like feature in climbing that you can actually try to see what to do with your competitors it makes it all like a lot more friendly and it makes sometimes you can mess up when you can't understand the better and here when they talk together you can really see who's the strongest and who can do the best do you think there's uh, any climbers who kind of play games with it and no, don't, I don't say I what don't they're really thinking or do you always feel that everyone's so. honest like everyone is such good friends here in like yeah. the comps and like there's no way someone is trying to do that. Like they're climbing together not in comps as well as in comps. It's just like they're always so happy to be in finals together. It's like... Because a friend of mine who, who recently started watching climbing texted me and said, I was watching the observation. Surely they don't tell each other what they're really thinking. <laughs> said, yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, so men's four, another spectacular one. There's a big 360 rotation in it. I'm not sure. Tomo yeah, Tomo is reading it correctly. J just around the zone hole, there's a big rotation there. Women's four, interesting start. I mean, you can see uh, where the green tape denotes the starting holes. That's Shauna just 
feeling the first starting handholds, and then you, you pop over to the left. It's kind of a skate move, as the root yeah. set has described you it. You need to jump it. Yeah. It's, yeah, kind, it's kind of a of dynamic move. A controlled jump, I would say. Right, so cool. you can't just go 100%. You've got to you've got to be quite accurate, because underneath that blue volume, so the second blue volume up, there's a, a bolt-on white hold underneath. Right, and you cool. have to kind of get underneath that. Maybe with your feet to the volume. Yeah. So it's... It's, it, it looks quite an obvious move, but actually the root setter says it's not. It's a steeper section of wall than it looks, and it, it kind of pushes you outwards. Yeah. There's the two tops. That could be where the World Cup is decided this evening. As in Meiring, and as with the rest of this season in 2018, we're going to split the finals. It was the women's turn to go first in Meiring, and so it's the men's turn to go first in Moscow. So you see every move from every climber. That's Jong Won Chon. As I say, I think particularly that second boulder could really suit him, and I think this one could too. I think two and four could be Jong Won Chon style. Yeah. Well, he's good, you know, at almost everything. <laughs> Speaking of someone that's good at pretty much everything, Yanya Garnbrett, you can see there, just trying to figure out with Patrick, uh, Sean Okotke's help, sorry. Yeah. Four, and that is it. Two minutes are up on boulder four. They've had their eight minutes of observation. And they head back inside. Yeah. It's difficult for whichever gender goes second, so this case, the women. It's difficult to know, isn't it, how you go through your warm-up procedure true. because you don't know how long you've got. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about it, but like, that's true. It can go really fast. They can't if everyone tops the boulders, and it can go slowly if the boulders are hard. Certainly adds an element. Let's have a look at the uh, men's starting list. Yeah. Wall here in Moscow looking particularly spectacular. You might remember in the Tokyo in the finals last year, they had a kind of light show that they projected on the wall, and they've done the same thing here in Moscow. It looks fantastic. Yeah. I've got to say, the venue here in Moscow has been amazing. The organizers have been super friendly and helped us out wherever possible. It's been a really enjoyable event. The main attraction, of course, still to come. And there we have it, Alexei Rubsov first out, followed by Yerne Kruder. Gregor Vazonic, Tomoa Narasaki, Gabrielli Moroni, and Jong Won Chon. Alexei Rubsov isn't climbing twice, <laughs> there's only one of him. <laughs> he has enough yeah. power for two people. The there's Russian only one wants him to be first. <laughs> Let's have a look at the women. Sean Coxy will be out first, as I say, not Solsar if you're just tuning in. Petra yeah. Klingler, Miho Nanaka, Kinaguchi, Fanny Gibert, and Yanya Garnbrett continues her incredible run. She's missed one IFSC final in every World Cup or World Championship she's entered in her entire that is career. That's just crazy. It's next level domination. Yeah. And I have to say, in the semi final, she looked like the strongest woman. Yeah. She's going to take some beating. We're not seeing her in all the Boulder World Cups this year, sadly, because she has uh, school commitments, which makes me feel old. But we <laughs> will see her in all the lead World Cups. Yeah. So she's doing a full lead season. But. Uh, not all the bouldering, sadly. But I think there'd be few people after watching the semi-final would bet against it, taking a gold medal. Yeah. It was really interesting to see Alexei climb in semis in front of the Russian crowd, his home crowd. I think it, he was kind of nervous. You can see him in his climbing. And he made it through to finals. Let's see what he can do tonight. Yeah, he's going to have big support. He's the only Russian in either of the finals. We had the speed finals uh, earlier on. If you haven't watched it back, I won't say the results, but as ever, Russia well represented in that. But Ru Alexei, the only Russian in the bouldering final. And as I say, we're going right to left on the boulders. So men first, you get four minutes flat on each boulder, and the climbers take turns one after another. So all six climbers get their four minutes on boulder one, we move across to two, three, and four. It's men first, followed by the women. And we've got a pretty packed venue here in Moscow. I was told they'd sold 800 tickets in advance, and it looks like there's the same number again have turned up this evening. Yeah. Event well supported. Great to see. And the organisers certainly couldn't be accused of not laying on uh, enough music. <laughs> we've had folk dancing. We had a long round of speeches as well. 
That's and making nice. the most of having the audience in here. Yeah. So just to repeat, if you are just tuning in, it's going to be men first here. Every World Cup we're going to swap men first, women first. It was women first in Mehring and it's men first in Moscow. So that means Russian Alexei Rubsov will be the first climber out this evening in front of his home crowd. Yerne Kruder will be after him, followed by Gregor Vazonic, Tomoa Narasaki, Gabriele Moroni, and Jong Won Chon. Four boulders, four minutes on each. And in the women's competition, again, if you're just joining us, welcome. Charlie Bosco here. I've got Yuval Shemler alongside me. Nice and we to are be ready here. for a big final in, Mu in Munich? In Moscow. <laughs> How could I forget with the, mo <laughs> with the music? Yeah. And uh, yeah, if you are just joining us, you may well have seen on social media that there was an issue with the scoring system earlier on. It's not Solsai in the final, it is Shauna Coxie. She makes it in in sixth place, the same position she finished in Meiringen and joining her in the final. Petra Klingler, Miho Naka, the winner from Meiringen, Akia Noguchi, third place in Meiringen, Fanny Gibert, who was fifth in Meiringen, and Yanya Garmbrett, who was second. So the same final as uh, Meiringen, apart from Petra Klingler. She makes her first final appearance. She ended up 13th in her home event in Switzerland, joint with Sasha Gayo. This evening makes a final. Um. My English language skills don't stretch to uh, describing this style of music. Or that bloke's shirt. Electro Rusky. Alexei Rubsov will be out climbing first. So he is a, he is a local. Maybe this is the kind of thing he wants to get him fired up. I suspect, knowing Alexei a little, he'd rather just got on the wall. A spectacular show being put on by the organisers. And we are moments away from the start. If you didn't see our semi-finals earlier on, Yanni Garmbrek was the dominant force in the women's competition, the only climber with four tops over there. And in the men's competition, no one got four tops. Felt like the root set has got the level Just pretty right. much perfect. Yeah, and everyone did tops on like different routes. Yeah, all routes were topped, but no one got them all in the men's. Just uh, pretty much spot on for the root setters. So there we go. Now it can be underway. We'll start on the right, the left hand two of the two slab problems. You can see it there, the black volumes. That's where Alexei Rubsov will come out and compete in front of his home crowd. Now, it's an interesting slab boulder, this. There's so many moves to talk through. I think the best thing to do is we'll watch Alexei's first go. I had a long spell up on the mats with Robert Lux, who is the, who's the chief route setter here in Moscow. Got to bed at three o'clock last night because they were tweaking the boulders for the semi-final. But I think they were pretty happy with their work. As we said, they got the level pretty much spot on. Yeah, they did excellent work. Yeah, I don't think they've made too many changes for the final this afternoon. Uh, when I watched them work, it was pretty relaxed. I think they know they've got the, the level they want. There's not, not too much to change. Yeah. And we start out with the slab. Okay. <laughs> you can probably hear Leo, the venue MC, giving it the big one. Because here comes the legs. He rubs off. He's going to get a big cheer. They want him to win here. I think Alexei need, needs to stay calm in this slab climbing, even though there is such a big crowd cheering him. It might be difficult to manage. Yeah, I have to say, given his fighting style, you know, he just gives every boulder 100%. I can't help thinking the crowd will actually help him. Because yeah. when he's midway through some desperate move, it might just give him that extra 1%. That's true. So, he's underway. Uh, let's Remember, go. new rules this year. You have to control the starting handholds. You can't just touch them. Whoa. Yeah, and that's the way the root setters want to get it done. I was yeah. saying it's a complicated move, so we'll take it one move at a time. That you need to rotate to the right, and then as the right lands, 
bring the left above it to the zone hold. Maybe you can first control the l bottom hold. Yeah, I asked the Roots this about that. They said it, it makes it a lot harder. You, n you naturally wow. begin to peel off. So yeah. as soon as the right hand lands, you have to start right. moving. You, you have to be, it has to be one continuous movement. And then you need to take the swing. Yeah. That's a cool move. Yeah, so you're pushing against the left hand side of that zone hold to control it. Yeah. Or crossing through like Alexi. But it's, it's a difficult uh, position you end up in. You're right on the, the limit of your, your center of gravity, if yeah. that makes sense. So, four minutes flat, as I mentioned, just under three remaining for Alexi. Got an army of brushes to help him out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's oh. trying with the foot. Might be too far. I think it's really hard to start with such, like, complicated move when you just go out, because you need to be super precise and with all the adrenaline. Oh, it's close. close, it's close. Remember, of course, if this is the first World Cup you're watching of 2018, the first thing I would say is go back and watch May Ringing because it was one of the best shows I've seen yeah. for ages. But if this is your first World Cup of the year, remember that we have got a slight shift in the emphasis on the scoring system. We've also got a slight change in terminology. What used to be the bonus hold is now the zone hold and also a shift in emphasis. Number of tops is still the most important way to separate the climbers. But if they're tied on number of tops, the next way they're separated is the number of zone holds they got. It used to be attempts on the tops, now it's zone holds. If they're still tied after that, then it still comes down to attempts. But it means that attempts not quite as important as they used to be. So you can see Alexi burning through. I mean, I've lost count. It must be eight or nine attempts now. Because, as I say, we do have that slight change in emphasis. Clocks just stop there. Just ignore that. It's not uh, 2.30 left looking across the venue to see if I can see the, the clock in here. Nope. And that's close wow. from Alexi. As we said, difficult to come out. Home crowd cheering you on, full of adrenaline. You've been getting so psyched for this. And suddenly you've got to control your movements and execute something very precise like this. Difficult start. And he's burned an awful lot of attempts. Yeah, in the slabs it often like kind of difficult to know how much attempts to give because you don't feel so tired when you try them so you just want to keep on climbing and climbing maybe sometimes it's good to just rest Whoa! and that's how you do it okay so now he just again needs to calm down and this is a difficult move around the zone you have to what what english climbers oh no his foot just slipped yeah you have to do what british climbers would say is jimmy around the hole you kind of just inch around it slowly that zone hold we saw Alexi attempting it oh what? nice you see the power in his shoulder and now you've got to get your feet up where your hands are and once your feet are there you should be home and hosed you can't see the time no the time is finished and that was so close out. so Alexi a bit frustrated with himself he just needed a few more seconds yeah, that, the way you do it, though, is, is exactly how Alexi did it. He just ran out of time and then he had to rush the top move. You get your feet onto those two volumes and then just gradually cr creep your way up the wall. Yeah. And then apparently once you stood up, <laughs> you are absolutely done. You can turn and wave to the crowd. My advice would be to claim the top before you wave <laughs> to the crowd. Yeah. To each his own. So Jern A. Kruder, fresh from his win in Meiringen. It's been good to see him this week. He's had a big smile on his face, but he's focused. I think he enjoyed the win. Yep. Keen for more. Winning a World Cup is a huge step forward to the World Cup, to being the World Cup winner. It's really important. There is first go the crowd. The crowd very quiet, just letting him concentrate. It's nice. Yeah. So he'll roll out to the right, and he's got the right method. Pause for another look. Lexi rubs off. We'll uh, just confirm now how many uh, attempts he used to get that zone. Yeah. 
And Yen, he's closer that time. That was closer. Again. It's always a difficult balance to decide if your beater is correct. Yeah. And you just stick with it or try something new. But I think he knows that's the right method. We saw Alexi try a couple of things. He tried jabbing his right foot out to the right. Yeah, but I think in this level, you know that the root setters tried to make that move work. So you kind of can see what they planned. This time oh, he makes it work. Nice. So now he's just got it, as I say, just Jimmy around that hole. It, it's a steep slab. And it looks like an easy move getting around the bonus. Whoa. You can see it's not. He used the right hand to good effect to steady himself. And now you do an almost a gymnastic style iron cross, get both feet on, and once you stood up, should be nice. job done. Yene Kruder, perfect start. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to see. Crowd very respectful when he was climbing. Plenty of noise when he was done. Yeah. So plenty of time to spare. We always talk about what must feel like in isolation when the climber comes back in early. You know they've topped yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That was was his third go. I, I'm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure third go. So Gregor made his second semi-final today and makes his first final as well. Climbing with pretty much no pressure. Yeah, everything from here on is just a bonus for him. So as I say, it's like changing uh, the starting rules. Can't just tap the handholds. You've got to control them. No doubt he's done that. Now he can get set for the move out to the right. You almost feel bad talking. The crowd is so quiet while they <laughs> watch uh, the climbers. Yeah. That right foothold seems really small. It's not too far off, yeah, yeah as you say. Close. Perfect timing. If that right foot had stuck on, he might well have managed that move first time. Yeah. So we saw Yene Crew to top this bowler, and Alexi rubs off. Very nearly top it, just ran out of time, used an awful lot of attempts. Let's see if he can do it now. He knows how to do it. Goes again. Whoa, he's he tried close. to do it more dynamic this time. I think he had too much swing. Yeah, his, his center of gravity just moves to the right. Yeah. Suddenly that left hand just becomes a bit less useful. Yeah, you have to find the perfect balance between too fast and too slow. Chalks up, goes again. And two minutes left. His compatriot Yerne got it done with about 1.45 to go. Such a tenuous position. Yeah, and tries different method altogether. The right hand side of that zone volume is not especially good. Whoa. Good enough. Yeah. Okay, so now he's got to get himself around the volume. It's such an awkward move. Mm -hmm, because that volume like puts you out of the wall, so it's hard to like transfer your body from one side to another. Could be off to a dream start. I thought he was going to go for the top from there, actually, but he's made the right decision by getting his feet on, get himself set. Nice. There we go. <laughs> he's enjoying himself. So next out will be uh, Tomoe Narasaki. What can we expect from him? I think he's one of the best climbers in slab in slabs. Mostly see a slightly different method. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, just wait for the Tomoe Narasaki intro video. Here it comes. There we go, the boxer <laughs> pose. I love it. We filmed those in uh, Meiringen. 
I was so happy when Tomoe did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice to see those videos and here in the venue you can see them being on the screen. Again, the huge venue we're in here in uh, Moscow falls silent. Just a few shouts of Gamba Gamba down the front. <laughs> the only Japanese man in this evening's final. They had eight men in the semi final. Yeah, that's a surprise. Usually there is two or three at least. <laughs> yeah. We'll be off to Tokyo, of course, start of June. World Cup number five. It's a really tricky start this for the climbers. You can feel amongst the crowd that they want to start going crazy. But they have to start with this slow slab. It's quite a yeah. quite a head game for the climbers. Tomoa not quite seemingly in the right headspace just yet. Again, he'll roll to the right, tried to stop it with the left. <laughs> and it's that right foothold you mentioned, it's poor. Yeah. You can't really push off it. you just got to roll over it, that right foot. Yeah, because you need to like find the right momentum and you need to bring some speed to this move so you can reach the zone hold. And you can't really get that speed from the right foothold. You have to like push from your left foothold and then stand up on the small one, I think. That's what Yerne and Gregor did. Scores are coming through now. Uh, Alexei Rubsov used up 70, uh, sorry, 16 attempts to get wow. the zone. 16 in, in four minutes. In four minutes. <laughs> it's one every 15 seconds. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, change in emphasis on the scoring system already showing because he got the zone, so it was worth it because the zone Whoa. is now worth more than the attempts and tomorrow Narasaki's got the zone as well. Yeah. We saw Gregor Vazonic and uh, Yone Kruder got the boulder on their third go. Tomoa's used more attempts than that, but this looks promising. He's gone with the left foot first. He's not going to launch from there, is he? I think he have to stand up. Before. So the right, yeah, he went with the right foot first. He needs to get the left foot up. Yeah, you can see the cogs turning in his head. Now he gets it. Goes with the left foot first. Now yeah, the right that's foot. That's the right. how you do it. Got it done. He would have been frustrated if he'd not got that one. Yeah. Thirty seconds to go. Heads back in. Job done. So three out of four climbers have topped that. Tomoa required six attempts, three for Yerni, three for Gregor. Next out, Gabriele Moroni, a veteran. That will be interesting. Yeah, 2004 he made his World Cup debut. Right. Somehow never won a uh, World Cup. He was seventh, like, I think six or seven times, so I think he's really happy to be in the top six yeah. this time. Three Boulder World Cup for podiums for him down the years, 27th last time out in Meiringen. So he chooses to place the right foot before going. Oh, that was a, a good go. He can, could really stand up on that foothold. It was impressive. Yeah, it's quite clever climbing actually because he's still got his hands on. He can really concentrate on placing that foot a bit more accurately. Yeah. Good first try. So no one's got this one in less than three. This will be attempt number two. You see it there, he can be so precise because he's still got his hands on. 
it does make the launch out to the right that bit tricky because you've got to simultaneously stand up and roll to the right. So he's opting to take less attempts. We saw Alexei Rubsov, no doubt thinking about the new scoring system, burning through the attempts, required 16 to get the zone. Gabrielli, take his time a bit more. He knows he can do it. He's been climbing superbly this weekend. Yeah. So again, likes that method where he stays standing. And he's so close to making that move stick. You feel like if he could push down on the right hand a little more. Yeah, if he could um, straighten his hand. Just control the swing. One minute 45 left. Only Jong Won Chon to come after him. He looked absolutely unstoppable, both in qualies and in semis. It was really impressive to watch. So again, keeps the hands on until the last possible second. That attempt not quite as close. Got one minute 15 to do something about this. This time he tried to jump before standing up on the footholds with the starting hands. I think it's kind of more difficult. Interesting after shared observation that the climbers aren't all using exactly the same method, roughly the same. But we saw the step out to the right working and we've seen the roll out to the right working as well. Yeah. No, it was a, about three attempts ago was the closest he's come. Yeah, on his first try. Yeah, he's got about 30 seconds left. It's definitely a move he can do, it's just, has he got time? If this doesn't work out, I think he'll have a, another go, but he'll be really pushed for time then. Yeah. Oh, and he's so close. close. It looked as if he thought he had it before he actually did. Whoa! Oh. Oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> At least he got the zone. It's he really got the important. zone, yeah. I was about to say he's the only climber not to get the zone. He claimed it with seconds to go, yeah. but didn't have time for the top. On those laps, you really need to, the time to like understand how to do it, how to, like, what to do with your body. And Alexei also needed just a few seconds to top this route. So here's Jong Won Chom. I <laughs> love these video graphics. Yeah. Going to take his time. With the boulders coming up, I think if he can get this done, it puts him in a very strong position. Because he's definitely going to like some of the other ones. Yeah. Had three out of five climbers so far top this one. All silent again. It's like, it's like commentating on snooker, this. Yeah. Silence around the arena as he goes to the move. Not too close that time. Just over three minutes to figure it out. So, Gregor Vazonic currently leading the way. One top, one zone, three attempts. Ditto Yone Kruda, previous heat, the semi-final currently separating them. Tomorrow Narasaki also topped its sixth go. Gabri Moroni got the zone on his seventh go. And Alexei Rubsov got the zone on his 16th go. Which, as we said, when you've only got four minutes, is pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> as ever, you can get in touch on uh, Twitter, hashtag IFSCWC, Charlie Bosco, and very special guest Yuval Shemler next to me. Any questions, observations, predictions, always welcome.
Wow, that was a close try. He's close. He's definitely close. He's got yeah. the contact strength. We know that. It's just about yeah. just about stopping that swing. But we've seen how it's done. It's nice work from the root setters. No one's done it quickly, but it's been done. That's true, yeah. And I think the zone hole is located just perfectly. Like, s takes time to get it, and everyone did get it so far. Actually, when I was up on the mats, the root setters were talking about how small a distance they move the holds when they're adjusting. So the hold that he's about to go to with his right hand, they yeah. were discussing whether to move it about one centimeter. That's the, that's the level yeah. of detail they were thinking, should we move it up yeah. or down one centimeter? It makes it all the crucial make difference. Yeah, a big difference. So there are boulders that might be more his style coming up. But John Wan Chon looks like he can do this move. Just needs to land that left hand on the sweet spot, that zone hold. Control the swing. And he should, should be away. Just over a minute left. Getting a bit frustrated. Won't be taking too much energy though. So you'd imagine it'll burn through the attempt. But I think it's still quite difficult for the right shoulder to hold that mental sloper. You get a lot of weight on it and you have to like control it. Nice! This time he makes it work. Now he's got 30 seconds on the clock. Doesn't need to rush actually. It's to move efficiently. He doesn't need to rush. He has got time to finish the boulder. As long as he doesn't do what Tomoa does, did and think too much about how you place your feet. It's left foot, right foot. Doing it very well. Nice, nice. and easy does it. Six seconds left on the clock. <laughs> he just checks with the judges. Just about time. <laughs> yeah, you might remember in Chongqing last year, he fell foul of a slightly strange top hold and wasn't awarded the top, so this time he's obviously learned his lesson, looked at the judges, made sure they were happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as you say, actually, it looks like it's going through the left shoulder, but there is a lot of force going through that right arm. Yeah. So men's one, done. Four tops of it. And as I say, there is not two Gregor Vazonics, there are not seven climbers here this evening. Just the six, Gregor Vazonic, Yone Kruda, Jongwon, Chon, Tomoa Narasaki and Gabriele Moroni. And Alexi Rubsov, those last two, Gabriele Moroni and Alexi Rubsov did not get number one done. I think Alexei will really enjoy the second boulder. I think it fits his style. There is Alexei Rubsov. He had to calm himself down for that first boulder. Now he's got to fire himself up. We're on to the steep stuff in Moscow. Sometimes it's really difficult to stay positive and like stay focused after you don't, you won't like do well on the on a boulder, and you know that everyone else did. Yeah, he'll be well aware. Tim Hatch, our uh, <laughs> head judge, was just creeping behind Alexi there in the doorway. Alexi out on the stage. So, men's two. Interesting boulder, this. Quite a fight. So, again, a couple of uh, interesting it's a beater from the root setters. That's how you do it. You go up with the right hand and uh, catch with the left. Yeah, because I, I, either wise you have like too much swing going on. You have to like block the swing with your left hand. Yeah, like to you go up with the right and then you can see on that uh, yellow volume Whoa. pad, so you do it, you catch it simultaneously. Really nice piece of root setting. Not amazingly obvious to the average climber, but these guys have obviously figured it out, and he's straight onto the zone. Second attempt. Yeah. 
And it's quite a long boulder, this. You go out to the right, as he is doing. That looks like a really small cream. And Alexey Rubsov could be looking good for a top here. Crowd enjoying this. Crowd really enjoying that. Nice. Less than a minute and a half done. He's off. Back to isolation. That first move, that one. Wow. Executed perfectly. He didn't make it look super hard, but the coordination, not to mention the shoulder power required, is extraordinary. <laughs> Kruder. Winner in Meiringen. And looking I think he will like this bowler as well. He's really good at dynamic moves. It's one of the best. I'm sure that everyone's seen his pentadino in Meiringen. Yeah, men's too in Meiringen was something special. Let's have a look. He's got the method, he's got it first time. Yeah. Yeni Kruder, he's only been on the stage 25 seconds. Up to the zone. Just his style. Just needs to stay composed here. There's a, a tiny crimp on the uh, that yellow volume. You can see it there, the blue hold. Whoa. Oh. I think that is the right better. I think Alexei gone off with his left hand and then he had to match it and it looked quite hard because it's a small hold. That's how you do it. That's such uh, again clever route setting it just requires so much coordination, so much power. So here he goes again. Almost staged just with his right hand. I think now when he knows how to do it, he can rest for a long time to recover. It's really physical. It's not like the slab. So you think that method where he goes up with the right hand followed by the left, he just needs to move the left hand quicker? Yeah. Um, I or think maybe he can stay on the lower hold because you have the toe holding you. But I'm not sure. Let's see what he do. <laughs> he has the power to surprise. Yeah, it, it looks as if he's just perhaps questioning his method. Yeah. It might be, might be easier like Alexei did it left hand first. Okay, here goes. Coordination and power required. Used, he probably used a lot of energy on that previous attempt. It's such yeah. a hard move. I don't think he, he was missing the power that time. It looked like it was just the accuracy. Yeah. I think he. It's a really hard combination of like power and accu accuracy. Let's have a look. So it's right, left, a split second later. Yes. This time he nails it. Already claimed the zone. Ah. He's close, he's got a, a minute to go. Let's have another look. This, was, uh, this is right at the start. That time didn't look quite as solid as the first time, but it stuck. Time will become an issue here. Got 40 seconds ago, it's enough time to finish the boulder. But he, don't, he won't have so much rest. No. Uh, yeah, it's really hard. Okay, makes it work this time. So which method will he go for here? Will it be the left hand or the right hand? He goes for the crimp with. We've seen him try both. You have 15 seconds left. It will be interesting. Whatever he's going to do, he needs to do it ah. quickly. No joy for Yerno. Frustrated, I think he knew. As so often seems to be the case, that first attempt was the one. Yeah. There's a 
Good close up of the hole he's going for. It looks like quite a good hole from that angle. I can assure you it's not. Yeah, he just missed it. Accuracy yeah. starts to go when the fatigue starts. So Gregor, cracking start for him. Got Bolden number one on his third attempt. He's in a good spot right now. Regardless of what happens, he'll walk away from his first World Cup final with a top. <laughs> yeah. Could walk away with an awful lot more if this goes well. Just missed with the left hand on the jump there. Okay, we'll go again. That's how you do it. Didn't look as if the left hand was absolutely accurate, but it was accurate enough. He looks good. He yeah, looks super strong. Crosses through with the left wow. hand. That was impressive. This could be an amazing start to the final for him. Mind you, long way to go on this board. <laughs> oh, he's trying to match it. Oh, it makes hard. your knuckles ache. Now you can see what Alexei did from this angle. It's really hard. Crowd getting right behind him. That is just crazy. That's amazing power. Just needs to compose himself before this final move. It, it's, it's possible to fall off here for sure. That's Look amazing. at that. First finals and already two tops leading the way. That's just crazy. That is incredible. What a start to the final for him. Yeah. So this uh, this was right at the start. Yeah, you can see there he just missed that left hand and it just dropped onto it. He and gave such a big fight. Yeah, and he had to do so many moves. Yeah. With that method, he was on that awful hole for a long time. He can't do it, can he? Surely not. Surely he can't win it. <laughs> Long way to go from here. Yeah. Yeah, just to confirm, he got that second go. Same as Alexei Rubsov. Tomorrow, Narasaki. Four minutes begins for him. The climbers have had their two minutes observation per boulder, but Tomorrow just going through this, his sequence one more time. He hasn't got the benefit of seeing what we can, which is that uh, there are various yeah. methods of doing it. So he launches easy into yeah. the dyno. Cruise that move. Making it seem easy, like he always do. Wow, it's just so strong. That's tomorrow incredible. Yeah, tomorrow's cruising this so far. It's just two fingers in that small hole. So this would uh, put him in the lead if he gets yeah. it done. That's a flash for tomorrow. So put him into uh, second place. All right. That's a yeah. Total of uh, seven attempts so far yeah, on the it first took two boulders. Time to do the first one. Yeah. Slide, just have a look, one of the root setters, Thomas Oletsky, former World Cup winner himself, of course. Just making adjustments to the zone sign. Robert Lux of Germany, chief root setter here. And uh, Thomas Oletsky, vastly experienced competitor and setter, part of the root setting team as well. A big fan of the traditional boulder, Tomas. Gabriele Moroni, no joy for him on number one. Gabriel Currently sitting in sixth place, took him seven attempts to get the zone on boulder one. Let's see what, can, what he can do on this one. Uh, 
just had one last look at the hold. Looked as if it perhaps should have gone for it almost on instinct. We'll have another go. Three minutes 30 left. Plenty of time. So last week's winner in Mayring and Yerne Kruder, the only climber who's had his four minutes who couldn't complete this boulder. And plenty of encouragement. Italy well represented here in Moscow. But a big team. It's been interesting watching a few of their league climbers like Marcello Bombardi climbing the bouldering World Cup. So everyone's beginning to think about the Olympics. Yeah. Oh, and Whoa, he nearly that was that. close. His left hand just popped. Still uh, Jongwon Chon to come on this boulder. Oh, this is what we like, some football style chanting <laughs> yeah. for Gabriele Moroni. Uh. Yeah, it's just, there's no problem getting there with the right hand, it's stopping the swing with the left that's proving the problem so far. I wonder if it's possible to get the left hand first and then explode to the right one. There's a thought. Yeah, maybe you can put a heel hook and just try to pull on it. Yeah, I, was, I asked the root setters about that. They said it probably can be done. Just. I mean, if you, if you don't feel you have the, the strength in the shoulders to stop that move, yeah, it could be a method. One of the great things about climbing. Plenty of different yeah. ways to do them. Yeah. Only you end up at the top. So, what will he try? This time nice. he makes it work. It's a really good move, that, because initially it looks like it's about power, but really yeah. it's about accuracy. When he hit the perfect That's spot, true. it and didn't look too hard. Yeah. Now this looks promising. This looks very promising indeed. Now we can see how strong he is. <laughs> yeah. He's got to... Uh, He's got the, the, the small feet of now matching and swapping hands on that crim. Wow. I think it was just with one finger on that hole. 50 seconds to go. Time, no issue, but you wouldn't suspect he'll have the energy for another attempt. So he needs to get it done this time. Just needs to Come rock on onto that right foot. Take nice. it nice and steady. Yes, nicely done. Gabriel Moroni, first top for him. So every climber in the final has a top now. Tamara Narasaki and Gregor Vazonic have two. Jong Won Chong could join them. Whatever he does, he can't take provisional wow. first place. That was a replay of Gabriele Moroni. Moving himself into fifth place. One top, two zones. That's the hole he's going for. <laughs> so Jong Won Chong. I think Chon might do it in his first try, just like Tomo. Okay, there we go. Prediction. Prediction made, yeah, I think this is a boulder he'll get on with. Yeah. Number four as well. Yeah. So ready to launch as a last look. Wow, that was well <laughs> unbelievable. The He's the only guy who can do that, I think. That was just incredible. That that move. I was told, it's, well, of course, it's got a humanly possible the route set as thought, but <laughs> I didn't think anyone would actually attempt it, but hey, if you've got the power, why not use it? And he's absolutely cruising this, Jong Won Chon. Doesn't even use the extra hold on the way to the top. Goes straight there. Wow. Again, checks with the judges. That was an impressive top. Extraordinary stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if it was easier doing it that way, but... Let's, uh, let's have another look. He barely looked like he swung at all. He just stopped dead as soon as he got there. With his left foot, I think. Yeah. He stopped on the volume. Yeah, just dragged with the left foot. That's crazy. 
shaking his left hand a bit, <laughs> having a quick rest. <laughs> okay. okay, well, John Won Chom moved himself up into second. Gregor Vazonic will barely be able to believe his eyes when he sees it. The scores, because there you have it, he leads the way. First ever final, second semi-final this morning. And he's top of the rankings. Yeah. It would be absolutely crazy if he gets on the podium. First finals. He's got some work cut out. So every climber's got one top. Some have got two. Can anyone claim three runs at M3? This no. I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah, now we get to see the crazy jump. So the climbers are going from that big volume with the blue and white honeycomb out to that massive grey volume that right now is just above Alexei Rubsov. Over to his... There we go, the one he's looking at. I think it's even difficult to stand on that volume because it's kind of steep, this wall. OK, here he goes, big jump. That's how you do it. That was crazy. So then you've got to get yourself on top of the volume, stand up in the corner. Yeah. And you move out to the left. It's not an easy sequence to get out left. Nicely done. Yes, yeah, so you just you roll over onto the left hand, and then there's a, a white hold for the right hand. Or you just stretch a colossus like Alexei Rubsov. That's how you do it. Yeah, left hand down, right hand up. Ah, that was so close. <laughs> Dropping off the top hold, just like in the first one. So these, this is a replay, by the way. It's not live. And that's how you do it. This was the attempt for the top. Yeah, so the again, possibly the easiest method there is as you as you cross to get hold of the top hold, you stick your left foot out onto the left hand round All volume right, yeah. and just stop the swing. So he nails the jump again, no problem. Yeah, easily done. I think it took him 10 seconds to get to that position again. <laughs> Maybe even less. Mm, nice. Nicely done, Alexei Rubsov. Top on men's three, second attempt. He needed that. Crowd enjoyed that one as well. So that puts him into first place. Three, uh, two tops, three zones. That's the angle. Look at that. I have to say, <laughs> when Alexei Rubsov does it, it, it doesn't look that far. Trust yeah. me, when you're sitting on that volume, it's in a different postcode to uh, where you're starting from. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And you can see there, just dabbed out with the left foot, control the swing. So here's Yearn 8. We saw some pretty spectacular acrobatics from him a week ago. So he'll get himself set. Here he comes. Nice. It just goes to show the standard of World Cup climbers that that move nobody has yet fallen on. Extraordinary. So now he's now he's underway. It could be a flash for him. Yeah, it will be really good for him. We saw Alexi drop it from here, though. It's no gimme. Yeah, that crimp looks really tiny. Yeah, it's not great. It's just at the wrong angle as well. I wondered if he was thinking about a lunge for the top. Surely not. No. <laughs> It'd be a long way. All the way, having gone all the way right, come all the way back left in one move. 
So yeah, he just needs to stop the swing with the left hand, uh, left foot. No, he doesn't. Nice. What do the root setters know? Yerne Kruder, Mems three. He doesn't need to stop the swing at all, gets it done. Yeah. So you wonder if that uh, failure on men's two, let's just have another look at the jump. I wonder if it's possible to jump from where you stand to the last hole, like you said. It'd be a long way. Yeah. I suppose it could. <laughs> Who knows? Tomorrow Narasaki, John Won Chon still to come. Anything's possible. Yeah. So Ian A. Kruder moves up to first place. But this man right here, Gregor Vazonic, could could overtake him if he gets this boulder done. Four minutes starts now. So it's taken Alexi and Yerne a combined total of three attempts to do the boulder. Yeah, you just wonder if Yerne's failure on number two, which all the other climbers got, might come back to haunt him. Long way to go, of course, but he's the only climber nope. not to get that. He slipped on that volume first try. So that's an attempt used up already. He's already in, uh, in dreamland just being in the final, let alone having two yeah. tops already. Yeah, now we can see that it's really difficult even for them to stand on that volume, to sit on it. Yeah, it makes me feel slightly better <laughs> for saying how yeah. far it looked, because uh, Alexi and Yerne just cruised it. Here he goes. Nice. Nicely done. It's interesting, one of the route setters, Robert, was saying to me, it, it, the move is not too hard when you believe. <laughs> when you, once you realize it's possible, it doesn't feel too when bad. When you believe you can fly, yeah. <laughs> So it's used up a few attempts, but still, it could be the first climber to claim three tops here, Gregor Vazonic. Let's see if he, if he figures out what to do here. He's not going to go from it from there, is he? So this is a different method again. You want, ideally, you want your hands the other way around. I'm not sure where he's going with this one. Let's find out. Wow, that was close. Really interesting, different method. Yeah. Yeah, as I say, ideally you want your hands the other way, right hand on the crimp, left hand on the volume. Here he goes. <laughs> Did believe. Yeah, and I think it's even difficult to stay on that hole because you have so much swing. Yeah, it's not great, that volume. I'm definitely having a go at this move <laughs> yeah. later on when the, ha when the mats are empty and, and when no one's looking, I should have. <laughs> So he's got one minute 50 to get this one done. At least sitting in third place. Let's see if he can do it now. Yeah, he really knows he's got that move dialed. I wonder if he will try that again or just try the other beta. Yeah, he's trying. So he's going for the, right the, method. the traditional method, if you like. So he just wants to swing over. As I say, the theoretical best way of doing this is to swing over, stop the swing with your left foot on the left-hand volume, and then just reach up for the top hole, just like ah, It's close. It's the second time he's come off that crimp. Has just more than one minute left. So this was a replay of him on the jump. No problem that time. Caught it nicely. Didn't even need to readjust his hands. Got the sweet spot. This is a replay again, by the way. We're not live here. He's Gregor's still on the mats, just prepping himself for his final attempt. The clock's wow. live. The pictures aren't. So he pulls back on, getting plenty of encouragement from the crowd. They've enjoyed watching him so far. And that move now, no problem. And he's flying through. You wonder, he might have time for another go at this rate. <laughs> yeah. Maybe two goes. <laughs> Come on. Ah. No, <laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds ago, and I think that tells you everything. Yeah. I'm a bit frustrated with himself. I think he knows he can do that boulder, but uh, not this time. First climbing not to get it done. 
Yeah, I think if he'd just been a bit lower down on yeah. that volume, might have stood a chance. And maybe jumping a bit less fast because then you have so much swing. So Tamara Narasaki makes his way onto the stage. No, if he's no, yeah, now he realized the time started. I was wondering if it was us who was confused or Tomoa. See, you wouldn't imagine he would have too many problems with the jump. Yeah. Whoa! Cool. <laughs> that was <laughs> one-handed. He was actually too high on it. Yeah. Yeah, he just needs to go a bit lower, which uh, hard to believe when it's that far, but he's actually going, I think he's springing too far. That's the replay. Wow, that was crazy. He's close to holding it with that right hand. So go again. Yeah, ah. for some reason he's, he's aiming for the top of the volume. Yeah. I think it's easier if you go, like everyone else did, a bit lower down. Yeah, I, th I think I can see what he's trying to do. Is he, is he trying to put a palm? The flat I think he's trying to like lap his hand on the top part of the volume. Yeah, just like that. Uh, but his hand kept slipping, I think. Well, he might be slightly frustrated if he looks back on that. If it attempts are crucial because yeah. that was two he didn't really need to use. Yeah, let's see if he can do it now. It's not getting easier from here. So here we go, he's got the right hand on the crimp. Nice. Got the left hand on the top and he's got the right hand on the top. Tomorrow Narasaki tops at men's three. Three tops. Yes, first climber with three tops. So that will put him into first place. Yeah, that's true. But he could be joined there, depending on attempts. By uh, Jong Won Chon. He was second in Meringen. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't won a World Cup since 2016 somehow. Tomo didn't win a World Cup last year. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was on the podium a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe tonight he can win a World Cup. So Gabrielli Moroni's time to try out this big jump. We've seen how to do it. All the climbers so far have uh, got the jump relatively quickly. Nice. First time, nicely done. Now he's got to mantle. This boulder got done first time by Yerne Kruder. He's the only person who's flashed it so far. Gabrielli Moroni's off to a pretty good start on his go. Creeping over to the left with that right hand. So now he got the simple but not easy task of swinging the feet over to the left, grabbing wow, the top hold. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Jamming with his left foot and left hand together. Flashed. Perfect. And he took him a minute from arriving on the mat. Have another yeah. look at the jump. Such a spectacular move, this. Yeah. And you could tell he was aware of his position the whole time. He just shifted that right hand. Nicely done. And that was the top. Got a um, question on Twitter. As ever, you can get in touch. Charlie Roscoe here. Yuval Shemlin, my very special guest alongside me this evening, member of Team Israel. If you've got any questions, fire away. Any observations? And as I say, predictions always welcome. You're almost certain to predict better than I am. <laughs> Hashtag IFSCWC on Twitter if you want to get in touch. We've got a, um, a question from Francesca. 
who's joined us many times on the live stream before. She wants to know, hi, hey, IFSC Climbing, I have a question. Do athletes in ISO see or know the results of their fellow competitors? The MCs in Meiring implied that. Uh, I think like they don't officially get the results, but you can hear everything when you're behind the wall, so you can hear the crowd cheering, and you can hear the crowd getting crazy when someone tops the route, and also when you finish the boulder, you go back to ISO, and all your competitors can see you, so they know you finished it. I've actually been told that this year in the final, there was a proposal from the Athletes Commission that's being trialed where the athletes can see the results. Really? In the final. Yeah. To make it more clear. Yeah, as I say, it was a proposal Athletes Commission that's now been tested out, so there you go. Yeah. You'll be, you just have to get in a final, <laughs> and then you can confirm for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you can see the results this year. It's something that's being trialled out. Thank you for the uh, question. Oh, so you can see the results? You can see the results, yeah. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's, that's fine. It's, it's new this that's year. That's really different, yeah. Yeah, it changes things a bit. So, John Wan Chom on the wall. Two and a half minutes for him to get it done. Just struggling with that uh, move up. Yeah, quick caveat, by the way. Apparently, the uh, athletes only see the results at the end of each problem, so it's not live. All right. But they can see how everyone did on the problem. So, John Wan Chom. Two minutes left. Creeping out into the left hand. Going to go with the right. Come on. <laughs> nice. Yes, very nicely done. Didn't need to steady himself with the left foot. Yeah. The hand was enough. And that's three tops for Chan as well. Puts him in a very strong position. Yeah. So let's uh, have a look. We're just waiting for John Won Chon's score to come through. And there we have it. Yeah, he leads the way. Three tops for him. Three tops for Tomoa Narasaki. They're one and two as it stands. It's coming down to attempts right now. Okay, we're on to boulder four. This is the one, Alexei Rubsov. He really needs this to stand a chance. Currently being haunted by his failure on uh, number one. Got the zone on his 16th attempt. There he is, looks like he's enjoying the crowd. That's the closest we get to a smile from Alexei during a World Cup. He is yeah. all business. So men's four, this is a really interesting, quite complicated boulder. You jump across and you can see a black hole underneath the roof and you stop yourself Ooh. on that. Alexi That's looked, hard. Yeah, it looked like he aborted. Yeah, I think he needs a bit more swing getting those footholds. Oh, that was close. Yeah, so the method on this one, uh, as I've had it described to me, can't say I managed to pull it off myself, is uh, you fire right it's and that black hole that he's aiming for, you, yeah. you kind of stop yourself. So you stop your upper body, but the hips keep moving. All right. And it's almost one movement. It's, it's kind of one and a half movements. Yeah. You sort of stop underneath the roof and then launch again from there. I'm sure we'll see him do it. Let's have a look. Just goes wow. direct. He wasn't far off. He didn't. He like tried to do it with the one hand this time. <laughs> <laughs> didn't bother with the black hole underneath the roof. Yeah. Let's have another look. You can see he just bypasses it altogether. That was close. Yeah, just he wasn't far that off. Hole. Yeah. He's not far off. I'm pretty sure that's going to be his method again this time. Currently sitting in uh, fourth place podium last week in Meiringen. He's been really consistent over the past few years, Alexei. Yeah. 
and it's not easy to be consistent every comp new setting oh, oh he's close close he still have two minutes left nine years now since he won that world championship in uh, 2009 yeah and I've heard he climbed only three years yeah, before yeah. that <laughs> that's started, crazy <laughs> and he started climbing three years before he became world champion and that's yeah. why he's oh. got the talent and he's got the power so again the, the best way to do this theoretically is to rotate to face the crowd and do a yeah. 360 that doesn't look like he likes that method. Let's have a look. He's got the zone. That's a small hold. Oh, that is far. Yeah, as I say, if you if you can spin around, you do a 180, and one move, and then another 180 to face back into the wall. Yeah. That's how you do it. Again, if you've got the accuracy, it really helps. The move didn't look too tough that time. This is a replay we're watching now. One minute left for Alexi to find a way onto the podium in his home World Cup. Yeah, he needs this route. He knows that. Here he goes, building up momentum. And okay, he's just missing. Missing with the left hand. This time he gets it. What will the method be this time? He's onto the zone again. Try going feet first. Crowd enjoying this. No. 19 seconds to go. Needs to be what quick. What a fight. Yeah, he's no. already got the zone. He's not going to get the top. He's out of time. Alexi rubs off, just throws his hands up as if to say, no idea on that one. Yeah. Time up. Yerne Kruder coming out now. Currently on two tops and three zones. Interestingly enough, every climber has got every zone and every boulder. Yeah. As it stands. Finish men's Strong four. climbers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Yerne Kruder currently sitting in fourth place. A top in uh, a top would put him into first place as it stands. Again, you just wonder if that failure on number two could come back to haunt him. So that's how. Well, oh, that's, that's one a way different of method. It. Yeah. Yeah, as I say, the, the, the route set is envisaged that you'd kind of half stop there and then carry on, but. Yeah, and he came to a complete halt, yeah. set himself and went again. Now let's see if he can do that. Wow. Nice and easy does it. He's looking very in control here. It's a really impressive attempt. No problem on the zone, so that run continues of every climber getting every zone. And that right there is the top. And that's Yerne Kruger nice. on the top. So that will put him into first place. And we've just seen the legs he rubs off have an absolute battle on that. And that will get it done. Yeah, Nikuda, yeah. yeah. That's why people like seeing him in the finals. <laughs> Always put such a good show, yeah. The crowds get crazy here. So he's got, well, as he did in Meiringen, a nervous wait now. He's done all he can do. All he can do, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. number two, if he got that, he really would be flying. That would have been four tops. As it is, it's three. And it's enough for the lead. But he could be passed by several climbers. Yeah. John Wanchon or Tomoa Narasaki currently sitting on three tops. Either of them could pass him. Yeah, so as it stands, uh, Yene Kruder already guaranteed a place on the podium, according to my maths. Oh, that's crazy for him. He yeah. would be so happy to be at the podium again after marrying again. 
Well, we saw it in the, the lead climbing in 2017 with uh, Roman de Grange, season yeah. after season, and suddenly he just has that season where everything yeah. comes together and he wins the overall. Would anyone bet against Yone Kruder this year? Won in Meiringen, and already going to get a podium here in Moscow. Yeah, that's crazy. Two World Cups, two podiums, doesn't get a huge amount better than that. What can Gregor do? Currently City in fifth place with two tops and three zones. Easily done. Yeah, and again, uses that same method. Stops completely. I have to say, despite what the root set to say, that method does look quite effective. Yeah. You really compose yourself before the second jump. Let's see if you can do that move. It looks like the hard move of the root. Nice. Just about sticks it. He's used up too many attempts to surpass Yerne in uh, first place. Well, it's not getting easy from here. Okay, no problem so far. He's just got to get to the top hole. It looks a long way. Can he find it? He can. Nice. <laughs> the Slovenians not afraid to show their emotion. Well, I think if you'd said to him on the plane to Moscow, you're going to make your second ever semi-final. And you're you going to do three tops, yeah. yeah. And then you make the final, and then you get three tops. I think he'd have been a pretty happy man, and he looked it on top of that bowler. So Gregor Vazonic moves up to second place. It is Slovenia one and two as it stands. That is just crazy. Not much they can do other than wait. Apparently they've got quite a handy climber in the women's as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think she's got a future in the sport. We'll <laughs> see. Men's final yet to be concluded. Been a great yeah, men's final. Plenty of tops. Different to the semi-final. But as yet, we don't have any climbers with a clean sweep for tops. This man can do it though, Tamarino Saki. He's currently got three on the first three bowlers. Used a lot of attempts to get them, ten no less. But he can finish the job here. Yeah, I think he will like this bowler. Could be really tight here, you know, because he's currently on three tops, three zones in ten attempts. John Wan Chon's on three tops, three zones in nine attempts. Oh. So this could yeah it's a close attempts. fight between them yeah even if Tomoa doesn't do it even if Tomoa does it first time he's still got to watch John Wan Chon yeah and he's not going to do it first time yeah he's looking at the hole maybe he will try to stop on it like the Slovenians did Okay, lining it up again. Here he goes. Nice. Again, he goes straight through. We saw it from Alexei Rubsov. Skipped it out altogether, that black hole. I think it's better if he gets it with his left hand. He's trying to change hands right now. Here we go, <laughs> NUMC, you might be able to hear him giving him plenty of encouragement. This will put him into fourth place. He got that zone, so that's secured him third already. And a top. Whoa. Just match it, Tomoa. He's moving so <laughs> fast, it's, it's crazy. That was incredible for Tomoa Narasaki. I don't think he's, you know, my heart skipped a beat when he didn't match the hold initially. I'm sure his coaches were the same. Yeah. So that moves him into uh, first place as it stands. We're just waiting for the uh, score to update, but it will be first place for tomorrow and Arasaki. Four tops, yeah. So 12 attempts. It will come down to attempts. Jongwon Chon. So Yerne Kruder is not going to back up his win in Meiringen with a win here in Moscow. Gabriele Moroni currently sitting in sixth place with two tops with two tops yeah he could move himself up into fourth the podium is now beyond him due to number of attempts he's got two tops three zones they required seven attempts and 14 attempts respectively
So, three minutes, 20 seconds left for him to find a way into fourth place. As I say, podium already gone. Tamara Narasaki leading the way. He's topped all four boulders, got all four zones. They required 12 attempts. Do you think this move is considered to be jumping down? Or? Because I heard it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, not this debate again. We had this in Mehring. Oh, yeah. On the slab. <laughs> I think he's jumping sideways. Yeah. He's jumping sideways. There's certainly no safety issue. Yeah, that's true. A downward jump. I suppose and that's a really complicated move, and it's really... Yeah. Your feet are going from the same height, so I guess you, you call it a sideways move. But, yeah, it's an interesting point. We had a, there was a lot of discussion after Mehring and about that men's yeah. three. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun, Gabriele <laughs> Moroni. Yeah. Big smile on his face. With the new athletes knowing the score after each boulder, he'll be aware that he's not fighting for a medal now. Yeah. Especially once uh, Tomoe walked in with a big grin. But uh, still, I think having fun. Yeah. Uh, as I say, that's exactly the method the route set has suggested. Yeah. We kind of stop, you pause on the way again, through, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's the closest we've seen to a textbook method, but it's not successful. Lining up for another go. Got a good angle on it. Ah. Just lacking the spring. I think it was a dynamic like round of boulders. They had a jump on first boulder, uh, double clutch on the second one, and now a crazy <laughs> sideways jump. And a jump on the third one as well. How can I forget? <laughs> so a jump in every boulder. Wow, oh, that was close. Yeah, he's close to sticking that. Very close. Got one minute left to do something about this, and yeah. then it's just Jong Won Chon. Come on, Gabri. Nah, it's it close. was so close. He's gonna give it another try, I think. 40 seconds left. Last try, I believe. Come on, Gabri. No! Oh, he's close there. Okay, here comes John Won Chom. You can see how big is the crowd here. So out comes Jong Won Chom. It will be really interesting to see him. Sometimes he can struggle with dynamic moves. It's about the only chink in his uh, armor. Currently sitting in fourth place, but he's got three tops and he can win this competition. He's the last climber out on the last boulder. He needs to do it in his first three goes, I believe. Yeah. To surpass Tomo. Yeah. So he can fall two times and still win if he tops it. Tomoe Narasaki, Yene Kruder and Gregor Vazonic watching on nervously. They're currently the top three. Fall from Jong Won Chom. Attempts will be crucial here. Yeah. So we saw Alexei Rubsov on men's one just burning through 16 attempts. We can't have anything like that from Jong Won Chom. He needs to be sensible, yep. use the attempts wisely. 
So currently City in fourth. Three tops. Three zones. Nine attempts for both. Ah. Again, second attempt. He's not really that close. Yeah, and a zone won't be enough for him. He needs the top. You're right. Yeah, he does. He needs the top. I think if he will get to the to the zone, it will keep him in fourth place. Yep, a zone doesn't actually change his ranking at all. Top does though. Top really changes his ranking. But attempts will be crucial. Come on. Ah. And he misses it again. So I think. Tomoa one. Yeah, we'll just uh, confirm I mean, that was his third attempt. Yeah, you're right. So, winning a World Cup after. Well, hold on, in fact. We've got. Uh, I was about to say he's got one more go. It would have oh been tied. Right. And it would have been. Uh, we would have had a tie break determined by count back. But you're right. He's now used too many. So even if he gets it, it'll be four tops in at least uh, 13, 14 attempts. And that means Tamara Narasaki is going to win the gold medal in Moscow. However, John Won Chon didn't win two Boulder World Cup overall titles without being consistent. And a podium would be very handy in terms of ranking points. He's just not getting that move at all. You called it when he came on. This yeah. isn't the sort of move he always enjoys. Yeah. And it's proving to be the case. One minute ten uh, for him to do something about this. Gives himself a little pump up. Here he goes again. Oh, it's as if he's thinking live while he's midway through the move. He's thinking too much. Yeah. You really have to commit to this move. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> That's some contact strength right there. Yeah. If you'll do it now, it will be absolutely crazy. So the win's gone, Racing but second clock. place isn't. Yeah. He can get second here. He's going for it Come again. Come on. Interesting. He just dabbed the black hole. I'm pretty sure he's going to run out of time. He's going. He's going yeah. for a zone on. only here. But the zone won't be enough to change his ranking. This time allez, he allez, 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 allez. Eight seconds left. So he's got the zone, but it's not enough to move him up oh, the ranking. That is so sad. And that's a shame for Jong Won Chon. The time's up. I think he's. <laughs> I thought he was doing the boulder just to entertain the crowd. But time's up. John Won Chon walks off, and the men's final is concluded with Tomoa Narasaki at the top of the rankings. Yerne is second. That is huge for him. Yeah, our scores have just flashed up as uh, John Won Chon having topped the boulder. I'm pretty sure that's not correct, so he stays in fourth place. We'll just wait for the scores to re update. And, uh, Tomoa Narasaki, either way, will win the competition. Four tops, four zones, 12 attempts for each. Yerne Kruder will be second, and Gregor Vazonic, can you believe it? Bronze medal. He's on a podium in his first finals. Two medals for the Slovenian so far. Probably getting another one soon. And Yerne Kruder perhaps starting to think about overall standings, yeah. because now he's got a win, he's got a second. Same as Tomoa right now. Yeah, but uh, amazing start to the season for yeah. him. And he has to be thinking. That is true. He's got to be thinking, what can I do in the overall standings? Podium in the overall, a win in the overall? Long way to go, but still, incredible start for the season for him. Yeah. Ditto to Moa Narasaki. He dominated 2016. 2017, he was consistent without He won the title, the World Cup title, didn't he? Tomoa? Tomoa in 2017. Chong Won Chong. Oh, Chong Won Chong, that's <laughs> correct, yeah. Uh, yeah, Tomoa wasn't quite his dominant self in uh, 2017. But uh, he's back on the top step in 2018. I've had a succession of people walking over to signal to me that the results currently online are not correct. 
I'm aware of that. John Wonchon is not in second place. If you're just tuning in or you're just looking at the app and you're thinking, John Wonchon's in second. He's not. There we go. The results have updated. He is in fourth place correctly. Tomorrow Narasaki is the winner. Yerne Kruda is second. Gregor Vazonic is third. John Wonchon down there in fourth. Alexei Rubsov would have hoped for more in front of his home crowd. He ends up fifth. Gabriele Moroni in sixth place. Two tops, three tops, and four for Tomoa Narasaki. Always great, I think, when yeah. uh, the winner gets four tops. One and top holsters. more, yeah. yeah. Perfect setting this comp. Yeah, Gabriele Moroni, men's four. The only climber on the only boulder not to get a zone. So, and the top heavy final. Yeah, and the difference between Yerne and Gregor is just one attempt. It's close. So we're about to get underway with the women's final. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> the boulders looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, I think the roots testers do a really nice job with that men's final. I mean, some people like uh, tight finals where tops are hard to come by. Some people like it where you get lots of tops yeah. and mistakes are punished because you use too many attempts. Personally, I like a lot of tops. I think it's yeah. good for the crowd. I think it's good for the atmosphere when we don't have the climbers on the mats for too long. We have lots of action, That's lots right. of tops. Climbers are on regularly. We're not waiting 25 minutes to see each climber. I think it works great. It worked perfectly there. Yeah. The route setters got it spot on. Four tops for the winner and no one else managed it. You can't get better than that. And there we have it. Greg <laughs> Hover's on it. He can't he believe, can't believe it. it. <laughs> he couldn't believe it when he made it to the semi-final. Yeah. He couldn't believe it when he made it to the final. He's on the podium. That is huge for him. That is massive. Here's Yerne Crudy. He's becoming an old hat at this. Second place for him. Yeah. Look at that. They are really happy to stand next to each other on a World Cup podium. And the winner, Tomoe Narasaki, had to get it done on Boulder 4. He might have been caught by Jung Won Chon. He wasn't. He takes the win. Yeah. Gregor Vavonic third. Yone Kruder second. Tomoe Narasaki in first place. What a day for Team Slovenia and Team Japan. Tomoe back on the top step. Yeah. I think he missed it. <laughs> I think he did, yeah. Nice of him back on the winner's circle. Yeah. We'll be speaking to him later. Check out the highlights this evening for the interview. Yerne and Gregor. I've got a prediction to make. I think that if you're at Dinamo Metro Station, which is the closest metro station to this venue, in about two hours' time, you're going to see Yerne and Gregor on their way into <laughs> central <laughs> Moscow <laughs> yeah. to do some damage. There's no question about it. <laughs> yeah, as I say, if you work at sort of Dinamo Metro Station, you're watching this on your phone, get your uh, get your autograph book ready, because I think they'll be there in a couple of hours. We're about to be joined by a very special guest in the commentary box. Stand by. Yenny, welcome. You're becoming quite a regular on the World Cup podiums. Good evening. <laughs> uh, quite unexpected, but uh, yeah, so far looks like I'm, uh, I'm the guy for the finals uh, or the podium. <laughs> I asked you about this the other day, and but for people that haven't seen our qualifying highlights, how did that win in, in Meiringen change things for you? Because mentally you look relaxed, but also confident at the same time. <laughs> um, if you would ask me before, and as you asked me before, if something changed, nothing changed. Because before this competition I knew that 
I can fail in the qualifications. I could be easily on 50th place or something. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, I was... Uh, I'm still in a good shape. Uh, I was really calm. And <laughs> here we are again. Eh? Whatever you're doing, it's working. How did yes. you find the boulders tonight? It was only that second one that you uh, you didn't do. Yeah, I felt like an amateur, honestly. <laughs> on, the, on the second one? Yes. Because I, I, I know that I could do it quite easily. But yeah, that's the part of the game, you know. All the all, all of the um, final boulders are quite easy, I guess. Especially comparing to um, to Mardingen. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, mentally it's always hard when you know that the problems are not too hard. So the same happened to everybody. Uh, I think also Gabri, who took sixth place, could easily do the other two bowlers, but um, that's the game. Okay, well, are you doing the full season? We'll see you at every World Cup this year? Yes. Okay, I think there's a lot of people excited to see you. It's been fantastic watching you, and hey, a first and a second, pretty good start to the season. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I mean, and here we are again, and uh, you know, it's like... It's um, it's China in two weeks. Yeah. Nobody knows what happens. <laughs> no. No. Deja vu back in the commentary box. Another medal. Congratulations. Could be. And I believe <laughs> yeah. we're going to speak to your teammate in just a second. He's just there. He's coming over in a second. Maybe. So congratulations to Yerno. We're just going to do the uh, headphone swap, and we'll have a, an interview with Gregor. He looks like he can't believe it. Get that headset on. Just waiting for the uh, women's final. Gregor, welcome. You were happy to make the semi-final. Yes. <laughs> happy to make the final. You're on the podium. It's incredible. Like total dream come true. You know, like last week I was 54. Now I'm on the podium. <laughs> it's just like unbelievable. <laughs> It just seems like you've had one of those perfect weekends. You made, and you only just made the semi-final. Yeah. It was like everything went your way. Yeah, I, I struggled in the qualifications. Like everything felt super hard. I just barely did two tops. Like, and the semis, I was really struggling. Like, and now, like everything was hard, but I somehow did it. And <laughs> I don't know. But in the final this evening, were you feeling the pressure? It didn't look like it. Nah, I was just having fun. You know, yeah. it's like my first finals, like my second semi-finals. <laughs> I was just happy to, to be climbing again. And you got the first two boulders done. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, w mentally, after the first two boulders, were you thinking, oh my God, I could win? Or are you, just, are you still just trying to have fun? No, I, I knew the boulders were like pretty easy. So I was like, yeah, okay, I did first two, probably the others gonna do it, are going to do it too. So I'll just keep on having fun in the third and the fourth. And then maybe in the fourth, I was like, okay, if I flash this, I might have a chance for, for a podium. So I just like gave it all and somehow it all clicked and it worked out. <laughs> Do you have any idea why this World Cup has just gone so well for you? I mean, how's training been? Is there anything to suggest this would happen? I mean, I, I felt super, super strong like in the trainings before the season started. But you know, in the World Cup, it's not just about being strong. I, last week I said I was 54. So I, I was, I wouldn't say I progressed in one week, but it's just like, it happens. <laughs> well, hey, man, you, as you say, you made your second semi-final, your first <laughs> final. You have a World Cup medal. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Shauna Cox, he started climbing, so we'll concentrate on her. But, yeah, massive congratulations. And go enjoy the evening. Thank you, and good luck, girls. <laughs> hey, where, <laughs> where are you and Yone partying tonight? That's the question everyone <laughs> wants to know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay. Watch out, Moscow. Hey, congratulations. Nice work, Thank man. you. So, women's final underway, Shauna Coxie on the wall. And Yuval Schemler, who is with me for the men's bowling final, just had a nice little five minute break. And he's back with me, and we're watching Shauna Coxie, boulder one. Yeah, let's see her climb. Yeah, again, after all the excitement of the men's final, we just got to dial it down. Yeah. It gets technical again with the women. This top out here, by the way, interesting piece of route setting. You have to yeah. push underneath it. You can't really get hold of it. Yeah. The way that the, the route setters think it, the best way to do it is kind of push the, the palm of your hand against the hold. Really? Yeah. yeah. In, instead of pushing your fingertips against it, 
actually push yeah the, the palm of your hand yeah. against it it seems to be the best way hey that's the theory most of the theories I've come out with about what the root setters have said during the men's final were uh, completely wrong and the climbers surprised everyone so hey yeah. it's just what they think yeah, yeah, it looks really technical Sean and Coxie we'll get a clock for you in uh, just a second there we have it just over two minutes left. She uh, used a lot of time on that attempt. Haven't had much time to uh, tee up this women's final because we had uh, Yene Krugner and uh, Greg Ovazonic. Great to see them. Yene Krugner's getting used to this uh, <laughs> this podium, some uh, live I interviews. It's hard to get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean will have another go. If you're just joining us, all the uh, British fans who are perhaps tuning in for the women's final to see how Shauna gets on in the uh, semi-final. There was some confusion about what exactly Sol Sar's score was and it showed Sol Sar as being ahead of Shauna at the end of the semi-final and it then got corrected and Shauna was in the final. I'm told that Sol Sar's score was wrong. There was no appeal or anything like that. The score was marked wrongly so she Shauna was in the final. Back. That was incredible. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, now so she'll match the feet. The best way is to get the high foot. She's got it. Yeah. But you've got to just creep up. It's not easy to do this move at all. You have to trust your legs. It's hard on these tiny holds. Oh, she's close. She's close. Got a minute to go. Conditions, you would imagine, pretty good in here. It's yeah. It's pretty cold. In the yeah, arena. I think it's good for the climbers. Most of the week uh, here in Moscow, it's been relatively warm in the arena. Today, it's That's true. actually it's freezing cold. Maybe it's because it's like getting late. I don't know. Thirty seconds to go for Shauna. A bit like in Meiring, and you suspect she's happy just to be in the final. Yeah. Only she's a third. She's recovering from a injury. Yeah, bad finger injury. It's only the third week since she got the all clear to go full on in training. Yeah. So pretty impressive to be in a second final. That's true. Is she gonna try and hold on to that top hole? She'll be pushing hard with that left thumb. Ah, She's that close. Was close. Gotta control that top hole, it's not enough just to touch it. Yeah. So it won't be a top for Shauna, she'll get the zone now. Those, hold those holes are really interesting because they have like some parts that are good and some parts that are less good so you really have to like find them or know the holes okay so the world champion Petra Klingler out now we've got her video graphic and it's a good one <laughs> <laughs> I remember filming it let's yeah let's see it there we go <laughs> <laughs> Nice one. Nice work, Petra. Now for the serious stuff, the boulder. So no joy for Shauna. Got the zone, though. She's got the zone on her first oh. go, Shauna. So as with the men, we're starting out far right of the wall. We'll work our way left, and we're starting out with the slab. With lots of tops in the the men's final, I suspect we'll see the same in the women's. Having had a good look at the boulders earlier, yeah. As we already mentioned, it's like really hard to maintain all the adrenaline when you're climbing a slab first route. So yeah. comfortably onto the zone, just slipped on that first attempt. Here she go. You've got to get the high foot. And this looks quite promising from Petra, but we saw Shauna with one hand on one attempt and then two hands on the top hold without getting it done. And again, she's trying to pinch that top hold. Can Ooh. be done. Ah. It looked possible that way. Yeah. Definitely looked possible. Getting your left leg high up. Yeah, that left leg... It you might not have seen it, but there's actually nothing there. She's only using it for, for balance, yeah. keep it out to the left like that. Now she knows she can do it. Yeah. 
So Petra, she got the zone on her second go. No top yet. Miho Nanaka, winner from Meiringen, will be climbing after her, followed by Kia Noguchi. I tipped Akio to win in uh, Meiringen. Not sure this time. Certainly mm. capable of winning. They're all capable of winning. It's extraordinarily yeah, strong Yanya women's field. looked so strong, both in qualies and semis. I would bet she would win here tonight as well. That's the least adventurous bet I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But I think you could well be right. We shall see. Patrick Klingler might have something to say about that. Paris World Championship, World Champion, what a moment that was. Whoa. Holding on strong. And nice. what a moment that is, top in the final. Yeah, she just found, found a better part of that hold. This was the difference from the first try. So Petra heads back in. Slight choreography issue, she's got to go back left. Okay. That is the MC saying, make some noise for Miho Nanaka. She claimed a gold medal this week. Yeah. Can she make it two medals? My <laughs> prediction is to flash this one. <laughs> I don't know where the banana came from. But that's, that's good, though, <laughs> to bring random stuff. Ah, it's a bit of fun. <laughs> 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 That's funny. So we've seen the bowler topped. Yeah, I predict you will flash this one. Okay. Getting more adventurous with your predictions. I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly. Easing your way into it. Yeah. So she's just lining oh, it up and she just slipped. And I was wrong. Not by much, though. She looked confident. She looked yeah. nice and in control. It's just a slip. The outside of that left foot just went. Yeah, it's a tiny foothold. Taking time to compose herself. We mentioned it earlier. It's, it's tricky for whichever gender goes second. Here it's uh, the women. Yeah. How much do you warm up, especially... You know you've got a slab first, so you don't really want to be going hard, high heart rate, ready yeah. to crush. It's a tricky one, tricky one to manage, particularly for the women. But be between the roots, you don't get to climb again, so you need to be warmed for all the roots yeah. Yeah. in advance. Just give us a bit of an insight. What's the isolate, what's the area behind the wall like here in uh, Moscow? It's just um, you have like five meters uh, in white and like a little corridor. Yeah, you have like chairs behind it, and you just come. You're exactly behind the wall, and the ISO is um, not quite for me here that time. Yeah, the ISO is just next to the wall. You have a small room to warm up in, and um, you got plenty of space to stay and relax if you have time. It's a really nice ISO. Miho, it looks like she's uh, breathing quite hard. It's perhaps a bit more physical than it initially looks, this boulder. Yeah. You might remember really four years ago now since Miho Nanaka made her World Cup uh, debut. Ended up eighth. Yeah, she was. She's young, I think. She w competed in Arco, I think, three years ago in the youth. It's hard to remember. She was second in the 2016 uh, overall standings in the World Cups. Third last year. Five podiums, but no win. She's already got a win this season in the first competition of the year. Yeah. She's got just under a minute to get this slab done, and each. Attempt has been quite nice. time consuming. That's incredible for Miho, amazing accuracy because there's only a very small part of that yeah. hole that's very useful. So Miho gets it done.
Mikey Noguchi will be out next. <laughs> oh, so something's amused her in the crowd. I think he took one of the Japanese guys to cheer her oh, in the okay. microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. So Kia Noguchi will be out uh, next onto the mats, and then it'll be Fanny Gibert, French national champion, yeah. and Yanni Garnbrett. This, this route is very different from the men's route we've seen. It's really slowly climbing. You have to be precise and climb slow. No dynamic moves. Here is Akio. Now there we go. That's good skills from Akio. <laughs> is that an apple or an orange? If it's an orange, yeah. I'm really impressed. Yeah, it's an apple. Oh. Yeah. My eyesight's not what it used to be. <laughs> Still, next impressive. year maybe she will manage to do it with an orange. <laughs> she can have some goals. It's good. It's good to have goals in life. Yeah. Here she goes. Women's number one. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I think that's one of the Japanese <laughs> team on the mic. Yeah. Well, in the uh, men's slab, it was silence oh. descending across the arena. Yeah. Not in the women's. The music's pumping, the crowd are going, yeah. and the MC is certainly giving it everything. Yeah. I think it's hard to be too conscious, to conscious train like that. It's also part of the difficulty in finals. I have to say, Akia Noguchi looks physically in tremendous shape right now. Yeah. I think she's actually lost some weight, believe it or not. Not that she had much to lose. She just looks pure muscle. I was standing next to her early on while we were uh, watching the speed practice. And, uh, had a brief chat with her. She speaks reasonably good English. Speak, sadly, I don't speak much Japanese, but we had a little chat. But she looks in uh, yeah, superb shape. She's yeah. just all muscle. And that showed in Mehring. And she was climbing really well. And she's been climbing brilliantly in Moscow as well. So straight up to the zone again. Somehow stayed on the wall after an aborted attempt uh, at the top. Yeah. Just a little bit more would be enough. <laughs> That's what Miho Nanaka tries. He went quite quickly to the top hold. Yeah. The theory is that it shouldn't work. It worked fine for her, but I don't think it's the easiest way to do the move. I think Akio yeah. just needs to creep up. She's tall. She should just use that height, I think, and just slowly ease up the slab. Yeah. Easy for me to say sitting up here, of course. <laughs> The older that you get, the better you used to be. But I'm sure if you were on the mats and felt the holds, you felt how bad they are. Yeah. They're tiny. So we saw uh, Miho get towards the end of her time allotment, but got the job done. Kinaguchi hasn't won a World Cup since Chongqing 2015. We'll be back there in a couple of weeks' time. She'll be looking to put that right. Yeah. She certainly got the form to do that. One minute to go. Any plans of encouragement? This looks promising. It's just a case of keeping those hips in close enough, whether you can open your hips enough to keep them close to the wall. Stop your center of gravity moving backwards. Yeah. Ah. She's close. Will she have another attempt? I'm pretty sure she will. But it's a time consuming slab, this. So, with Petra and Miho having got this done, at even at this early stage, you expect Akio Noguchi will need this if she wants to feature at the top end of the podium. And yeah. I'm pretty sure. She's going to get timed out. She's going to have to climb very, very quickly if she isn't going to get timed out. The time-consuming, tenuous moves. Yeah. And she's got six seconds left. Uh, she's not going to do it. Not so not time. it's a no for Akio. She needs to go through the other door. Yeah. She'll get sent back across the stage. Fanny Gibe will be out next. In the, in, in the semi-finals, Fanny Gibe looks super smooth. Yeah. 
not only powerful but really smooth. There were some tough yeah. moves and she just cruised through them. She looks super good since the beginning of the season, even before that at the studio blocks and the preseason comps. She looks in really good form. And I believe she didn't win a World Cup yet. No. Maybe tonight is the night. I certainly think she's got a World Cup win in her this season. Whether it's tonight, I don't know. Yandy yeah. Garnbrett did look impressive in the semi-finals, but interesting enough, gives you some idea of how strong... <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. these moving graphics. <laughs> Great addition to the season. Um, she's actually the only person in this women's final who hasn't won a World yeah. Cup, and uh, she is the French national champion. What a strong final that is. Yeah. But she has the power, and I think she has the experience... I think mentally she's quite strong as well. Yeah. Fanny doesn't really seem to be too affected by things. Yeah. Maybe you can see a flash. Steady on. Yeah. It could well do. I'm really looking forward to see a flash on that boulder. It will be really impressive. Uh, yeah, it just looked like she went a bit too quick there, as I say. You can just creep your way up. It just allows you to find the best part of the hole. Yeah. But yeah, when when the only person in the final not to win a World Cup is the French national champion. You know you've got a strong <laughs> lineup. <laughs> That's true. It's interesting in, in on the women's side of things. It seems like in the qualifying round, generally we don't get too many surprises. The semi-finalists are quite consistent. We generally get roughly the same yeah. semi-finalists in the bowling. But in the finals, kind of the, the top 10 women, the competition is so fierce. Yeah, that's true. Two and a half minutes left. So Fanny Gibert, she's already touched the top hold. She hasn't yet hung on to it. Here she goes again. Still got more than half her time remaining. If this one doesn't work out, she'll have time for another. Sorry. That was a bit of commentator's curse there, Fanny. But uh, yeah, <laughs> time for at least yeah. another go, probably two, I'm sure. Yeah, she, she looked good in the first half, on her first go. Really good. Okay, Ali Fanny says the venue MC. to the zone no problem yeah. that's the top hole just creeping into the shot there <laughs> oh, you could just see appealing off the wall yeah. she's got plenty of time now then what will the tactic be here will she jump straight back on or will she mm, just make this I the last she will rest until 40 seconds left and so maybe if she slips she'll have another quick go Yeah, yeah, she needs the rest, even though it's slab. She, it's the holds it's are tiny. Yeah, so you're still it, pulling hard on them. Yeah. And because it's hard to trust your legs, you're really holding those holds really with a lot of power. Oh yeah. Oh, nicely done. Okay, Fanny just needs to set herself up with the method be. See, She's trying a new method. Yeah, if you put the left foot out there, it just opens your hips and that just pushes you off the wall. Yeah. So I think she'll launch from there. Ah, that was close. Yeah, she got the good bit of the hold with 10 seconds to go. She hasn't got time to do it, so... Yeah. Miona Naka and Petra Klingler, the only two tops thus far on the slab. Janja Garnbrett, here she is. Let's see what she can do. Fanny makes her way off the stage. Can Yanya offer a, a bit of hope to her rivals by struggling on the slab? That would certainly be interesting.
And your gun, Brett. In those laps, you can never know. No, it just depends if it suits you or not. Here she yeah. is, looking relaxed. I mentioned earlier she's not doing a full ball the season, sadly. But uh, she won't be coming to China, unfortunately. It does open up a slot, perhaps, in the final for a yeah. surprise candidate in China. We and shall for see. for the podium as well. <laughs> yeah, well for the podium, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. In the uh, 27 World Cups or World Championships she's entered, she's been on the podium of 24. Just in three years. In three years, yeah. And the reason she's missing China, she has high school commitments. Yeah. <laughs> so here she goes. We're about to see a flash on women's one. Ah, oh, she was close. So yeah, close. Again, again, went quickly. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it can be can be done quickly. Miho Nanaka went quite quickly. I think that was a probably the fastest we've seen anyone try it, yeah. Yanya. But, uh, yeah, it can definitely be done with a bit of speed. How many attempts did it took Miho to do it? Just get my scores up. Uh, three attempts. Three attempts. Well. She got the zone on her first go, which is what Yanya did. And she got the top on her third go. Yeah. And uh, Petra got the top on her third go as well, but she got the zone on the second go. So she trailed Miho ever so slightly on the zone attempts. Whoa. So no problem so far. Yeah, she was mentaling with that left hold. It was impressive. Wow. And that's the quickest we've seen anyone go. No. Oh, Yanya. That's, that's <laughs> so close. <laughs> I wonder if uh, not doing a full calendar in the bouldering has just changed her mentality a bit. There's no pressure. She knows she won't win the overall. Yeah, it could be. I mean, last year she, she was battling Shauna all the way in the overall standings. That's true. But... I think winning a World Cup means so much. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. But maybe you can just have a bit more fun knowing that each That's event true. each event is just the individual event. It's not part yeah. of something bigger. I mean, missing that many World Cups, she's not going to break her own record of number of combined ranking points either. Yeah. Who knows? I don't think Yanya Garnbrett needs any advice on psychology from anyone, <laughs> to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Let's just... See what she can deliver. One minute to uh, 18 left on the clock. Again, decides nice. to go quickly. If their foot will stick, the top will work. And there it is. Yeah. The heel hook was helpful. Yeah, she still didn't quite trust that left foot enough on its own. Just yeah. needed something to back it up. Mm -hmm. She heads off, big smile on her face. Yeah, she's happy about that. So now, three women topped this route. Three didn't. Yeah, there we see it. Yanya Garnbrett uh, currently leading the way yeah. due to a result in the semi-final. But it's tight at the top. Miho Nanaka second, Petra Klingler third. They were the three that got it. And Fanny Gibert, Kinoguchi and Shauna de Coxie didn't manage it. Yeah. So women's two. Interesting one this, this one put in to entertain the crowd in the venue because best way to start it is to face out. <laughs> Let's see if they figure it out. It's not easy to, there is a lot of comps where the setters want climbers to be like that but then they just start with the face to the wall because that's what they're used to. You can see that the um, green tape denotes the starting holes so there's three on that huge volume on the left that means you have to have three limbs starting on there and one on the volume to the right the round volume so you've got to have one limb over there and as I say the best way to do it is to face out and then spin and jump to those two volumes you can see right above Shauna's head I think she will really enjoy this boulder no pieces of fruit on Shauna's moving <laughs> graphic no bananas no, no apples just straight up yeah so is she okay she's facing in 
Sean, was she thinking about... I thought she was thinking about... It, it's hard to tell from this angle. It looked as if she was looking at the volumes above. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. Yeah. And it looks pretty easy way. I wonder if the route setter's plan of the climbers facing out is not going to work, sadly, because that didn't look too tough for Shauna. No. And it looked at... And if she's done it, maybe they plan to do it together, all of them. Yeah, quite a high percentage move as well. Right, let's have a look at the dino. Oh, that's a triple dino there. You have to jump with both hands to the first one, then to block the momentum with your left hand. Yeah, that's the way you do it. You, you go left hand, right hand joins it. Just after the right hand arrived, the left moves again. Yeah. yeah, as you say, you called it perfectly. You can see it side on there. Yeah, that's a really popular m move nowadays in comps. Yeah. We had one in our qualifications as well. Did you get it done? Yeah, but I did it like a quadrant. I know I, I jumped both hands and then both hands again. Okay. <laughs> I found that easier. <laughs> Two minutes 30 left for Sean. She already had one attempt. Didn't get the first boulder done, but she did flash the zone. Ah, uh, that's the method. Maybe Just look, yeah, she looks like she's slightly short on it. Yeah, she needs to jump a bit more high, a bit higher, I think. Yeah, that her arms are straight when she's arriving. Yeah, and it means that you're already kind of on the way down. That's true. As we've said, we said it plenty in Mayering and then in the semi-final. Not s quite at full strength just yet. But still, you're making finals not at full strength. Yeah. It's pretty impressive stuff. And Shauna Cox, who's not at full strength, is still one of the very best climbers in the world. Yeah. So she'll creep out to the right. That static method she's got there looks pretty nice. Not having any too many problems with this. Come on, she yeah, she really needs to launch on this. One, two, three. Ah, that was close. I interesting one there. W when she moved her left hand, she took her right hand off. And I'm told that the easiest way is to leave the right yeah. hand on the right hand volume. Yeah. And you can see she kind of rotated off. So That's what she true. needs to do is, is one less movement. Leave the right hand where it is. You have to lean your body to the right place when you jump. So you can get both both hands on the holds. Yeah. It's uh, accuracy seems to be a big theme of this evening's finals. Yeah. Th both the men and the women. You've got to jump, but not jump too far, and jump in exactly the right positions. Good route setting. Yeah. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Uh. And again, she's trying to match on the second one. She's just bringing the right hand over. It might be better leaving it where it is on that right hand volume. Yeah, I think she will have time for just another go. Let's see what you do. Let's have another look. Here she goes. 25 seconds to go. No, it doesn't fancy mm. another go on that one. Yeah. So a bit like in my ringing. Shauna looking like she's thoroughly enjoying herself. Yeah. And making both finals can still have the World Cup title open for her. It's really... I believe she's not Even doing if a full Fianya season, but we shall see. Yeah, especially if Yanya is missing some World Cups, as you said. So out next would be Petra Klingler. I think we can see a flash of this boulder. Yeah. I don't want to predict the climber, but I think we could see one. That move... Moves definitely doable. Let's have another look at uh, Petra's dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> She'll watch this back and think, what was I thinking? I've got, <laughs> that, I've got that all season now. <laughs> so again, deciding to face in. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely... The, uh, you called it perfectly. The, the climbers yeah. have probably discussed this together. A bit more dynamic than Shauna on that one. So here she goes on the jump. So it's a one, two, three is the method. We saw Shauna try one, two, wow. three, four. She kind of gained momentum with her left leg. That was impressive. She didn't jump with both legs on the volume. She just like kind of did a ninja move, we call it. <laughs> Let's 
So just under three minutes left for Petra. Get the dyno figured out. Slightly different method on the lower section than uh, Shauna Coxey. Shauna was fully static, moving out right. <laughs> she obviously heard someone she knows in the crowd, Petra. Always looks like she's having fun in the finals. Yeah. I will never forget that moment when she did the first move of the last boulder at Paris and oh. faced the crowd and she was so surprised and <laughs> that what gave her the win. She was smiling so much. I remember that, yeah, she just caught it with the left toe hook. Yeah, and she was yeah. like, what? <laughs> Brilliant moment. Remember, she was very emotional, as yeah. she might be. Really good to see her in uh, top form here. She struggled with injuries in the last few years. Yeah. She was doing the ice climbing World Cups previously. She only did a, a couple this year. And she's coming to the season pretty much injury free. So here she goes. So one, two, three. Ah, uh, just slipped from that left one. Yeah, I think she she can she can definitely do that move. Looked like she found a good part of the hold. Twenty to go. Now for the, uh, maybe another two goes. I'm still surprised that you can see the results <laughs> <laughs> back there. Right, she's lining it up. We haven't seen anyone stick this. Ah, she's close. She's close. Yeah. She has time just for one try. One more try. Take a few deep breaths. Composing herself. Unless she slips low down, this will uh, likely be her last attempt. Yeah. Okay, what's she got? So we haven't seen a climber stick this move yet. Oh! Now we have. Petra nice. Klingler. Now the top bit That's after it. this move is relatively straightforward. If she can get that next hold, she should get the top. Nice. Petra Klingler, she's lining it up. And she's Just top in time. the boulder. Five seconds left. Wow. That is perfect time management from Petra. Yeah. She calculated exactly how long she needed. And when she, she nailed the jump, she had just long enough to get up there. Let's have another look at the method. So she goes one, two, three, four. Okay, so. And oh. then took the left hand off. No, it slipped, I oh, think. Oh, it slipped. Yeah. That was huge. And I'm pretty sure that half pair of legs that we can see hidden behind the black curtain belong to Miho Nanaka. Yeah, that's she, what she can do. And there she is. So Petra, great work from her. Puts herself into first place, two tops on two bowlers. Just the same method. Yeah, same method. This this plan of facing out hasn't worked. Can't rely on these climbers to do what you want them to do. Oh. Yeah, slightly strange one that. She uh, she didn't really look comfortable setting up for that move, and it didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's better like this without the right foot. Oh, that nice. was nicely done. Yeah, you place yeah. it once you're comfortable. Okay, let's have a look. This is the first go at the jump. Nice. No problem. First try. Easily done. Yeah, there's a plenty of gamma gamma getting yeah. shouted. Let's see if you can do this move. It looks kind of hard. Pretty far. Yeah, the zone hold that she's got her left hand on is pretty poor. Yeah, it's kind of open. But from here, 
should bring it home. Nice. The top hole's good. And she's got it. She'll be slight, well, perhaps slightly frustrated not to have got the flash. Yeah, but but still gets yeah, it done. That second would place goal. her to first place right now. Yeah, pretty comfortable first place. Two tops, two zones. Yeah, requiring five and three attempts respectively. And there we see it. Look pretty comfortable on the swing yeah. across. It perfect. They often say about great athletes, it looks like they've got time. And yeah. Miho, midway through that dyno, it looked like she had ages. Yeah, that's true. So two and a half minutes that she didn't require. Akia Noguchi will be out next. I think Yanni Garnbrecht can flash this bowler. Yeah. My prediction. I think Akia Noguchi and Fanny Jibe might have a pretty good shot as well. That's true. So, uh, Akio, she didn't get number one done. As I say, it's a, it's a matter of taste in finals. Do you like a, a final where it's like a chess match and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there aren't many tops and every top is absolutely vital? Or do you like one where there's lots of tops mm. and mistakes are really punished because it could come down to attempts? It's just a, it's a matter of taste. Yeah, I, th I think that is better when the boulders are really hard and um, you can win with not all of the tops with less tops because then like the climbers can really show their best because like there is room for mistakes like you said. Um, I think when it's around like the males round before, if there is one specific boulder that you have troubles with, it's kind of like you can't overcome that. Also in semis, I, I heard a lot of guys are um, like they were they were not satisfied about um, the level of the boulders because they thought it was too easy um, being needed to do like four tops or five tops to get into semis. It's kind of a lot and if you mess up one boulder you can't really make up for it. Ooh. So Keo used up a minute and a half of her time. Not got it done just yet. Yeah. As I say, it's a matter of taste. I like a t I like these top heavy finals where if there's a slab, there's a tech problem. Yeah. It's a power problem. Yeah, I think it's you have to be good at all of them. Yeah. You, can't, you can't sort of say, well, I, I don't really like slabs, but I can make it up elsewhere. You have to be good at everything. I, li I like these these finals where we get a lot yeah. of tops. But as I say, it's, true. it's a matter of taste. I think particularly when the finals are split and you only have the men or the women, it's quite nice to have more tops. Yeah. But anyway, the debate will rage. <laughs> the finals yeah. are split, whether anyone likes it or not. I do like it. So, Kinaguchi, one, two, three. Nice. Four-ish, three and a half. Yeah, she did just like you said, kept the right hand on for most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and that zone hold that she's had her left hand on, believe it or not, it's a pretty terrible little crimp. And uh, we weren't expecting all the climbers to find the, fi the top section so easy. And they have done. Once they get to yeah. the zone, they've all brought it home. After doing such a jump, you have to top it. You just can't fall off. So it's Fanny G. Bear and Yanya Garnbrett. Are we going to see flash of this boulder? We've seen three climbers out of four get it done. Shauna Coxie, the only one that couldn't quite manage that jump across. Yeah. But uh, Miho Nanaka got it second go. Kia Noguchi got it third go. And Petra Klinglet got it fifth go. So we've had three tops on Boulder 2, we had three tops on Boulder 1, Fanny Gibert and Jan Garnbrecht still to come. Much like the men, it's looking like you've got to get so far all yeah. of them done. So perhaps. far. We yet to see the other two in action, but the, the rest of the boulders look toppable from what I saw earlier on. Yeah. So, Fanny Gibert, can she flash it?
Come on. Okay, now then, is this a different method? No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the root setter um, put on that left um, half, uh, like the left hold, to mm -hmm. block the second one, so it's harder, but all the climbers use that hold to, like, go right, so I think it helped them, and the root setter just put it on to block the first one. <laughs> Yeah, they, they're not really... Let's just have a quick look at uh, Fanny's attempts at the jump. So what was the method used? Yeah, she tried to match the second one. The left-hand volume. Yeah, they're not really using that, that top hole. They're, they're just I think kind of leaning on it. Yeah, to, to bring your weight to the right, I think it, it helps before the jump. So looks like she means business here, Fanny yeah. Gibert. Yeah, I, I wondered in, at first glance as if she, if she was going to go through the left foot or something, but no, she's following the same method, just setting up ever so slightly differently for it. So, time to launch for the jump. Come on. Ah. So that time she didn't try and match the second one. Yeah. Tried to keep the right hand where it was, which is. What I think she was Kina too Gucci. low this time. Yeah. Mm. Half her time remaining. Crowd, crowd just gone quiet here in uh, Moscow. We need to see another top getting fired up again. Yeah. So she's got that lower section absolutely sorted, no problem there. Here she goes. Uh. Again, slightly low. Yeah. I think there are other boulders in this final that would be more to her style. But you have to say, she probably needs to get this done, especially seeing she missed the first one. You might have heard, that's not a pizza delivery arriving, that is the, uh, <laughs> the sound yeah. of one minute to go. Yeah. She pulls back on for another attempt, just under 50 seconds to go. She didn't get the first boulder, she got the zone on the first boulder and she got the zone on her first go. Nothing on this boulder though. Everyone we've seen get to the zone, we've then seen get to the top. Oh, that was closer, but I think she lacks of time right now. Yeah, she's going for another go, no thought of, is it worth it? Yeah, sh she obviously thinks she can get it done. 20 seconds. This will have to be climbing in, in fast forward if she does it. Yeah, even a zone will mean a lot. Yeah. Ah. Oh. No joy. Okay. Fanny Gibert, nothing on the boulder two for her. Heads back behind the wall. Now, let's see Yanya. Yeah, let's so see if your prediction will come true. Well, I've got to get one right sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here she comes. But if anyone can flash it, it's her. You might remember in uh, Munich last year, that incredible move yeah. out to the right <laughs> where she, having watched the replay several times, still not convinced it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> Just let her body flow <laughs> and uh, you can't really describe it. <laughs> <laughs> she needs the same again here. Yeah. Tiania is no stranger to hard jumps. No, and she was cruising that. Oh. oh. Just misses out on the move left. So yeah. She also tried that method with your left feet to get momentum. It's interesting because it can get you high, but I think when you jump with both feet on the volume, you can jump like more precise, maybe. So you think she's, she's you sacrifice proficiency precision yeah. to get further. Yeah, I think so. Because like 
it's harder to control your feet momentum it's harder to know where you will land and when you jump with both feet like you jump from the ground just like yeah she's doing that method again nice and she's making it work gets it second go yeah now she's onto the tiny crimp that is the zone hold and she's cruising <laughs> from here yeah no problems for Yanya. and Yagamra lining it up she's not going to miss from here oh. and there it is nice. top for Yanya second go is really good so two and a half minutes remaining on the clock for her that she didn't need she has two tops she leads the way yeah on count back same score as uh, Miho Nanaka right now but uh, Yanni was top of the semi-final round so we'll move slightly over to the left there you see it Scores as they stand, Yanni Garmbrett, Miho Nanaka, Petra Klingler, your current top three, Akia Noguchi in fourth, Fanny Gibert and Shauna Coxey need a top to get into the reckoning. Yeah. It's all still open, we got two more boulders <laughs> to come. It can change everything. Yeah, you can see the venue here in Moscow, big uh, stand. <laughs> Plenty of standing room as well. It's been a superb venue. What you can't see behind there is where the speed wall is. You can see the top of the speed wall actually in the middle of your shot <laughs> at the top. It's an enormous hall we're in, full size football pitch. Yeah. It's been a yeah, really good venue. I like it. Yeah, it was also really nice to stay in ISO because like the floor floor was um with the grass. Okay. Um like synthetic Synthetical grass. Yeah, but it was AstroTurf type. Yeah. yeah, and it was really nice to just sit around because in qualifications, you, some guys have a lot of time to stay, like s five or six hours in ISO, and this time it was really nice to just chill on the grass. Yeah, they put on a really good show here all weekend. Yeah. And Moscow City has been very welcoming as well, had a great time here. Yeah. And this venue also gives like some Olympic feeling you have like the huge boulder wall and the lead wall and the speed wall in the same venue it's a good point yeah Shauna Coxie here on to women's three first look at this one oh, another jump yeah it's uh, fully healed of course fully healed well enough for her to win the overall World Cup title last year but Shauna has had shoulder injuries in the past and these kind of jumps out really put any any old injuries to the test let's have a look that's nice. the way you do it you go left right there's a rhythm to it she got it absolutely spot on that time and that's the method you replace the left hand with the left toe onto the zone that looks hard I think this route is really powerful yes. you have to give everything to do it yes, super powerful Shauna Coxie hit on a second go you can see how hard she's fighting yeah. just to stay on the wall let alone to move She's close, no problem on the zone. Just looks, as I say, I mentioned her shoulder. You can see it just shaking her left shoulder there. It's such a powerful first move. Yeah. You gotta jump to the first one and then pull on to the second one just with your left hand. Yeah, there's a definite rhythm to it. Just a, a quick pause and then land the right hand. Half her time remaining. <laughs> Again, just caught someone's eye, she knows, I think. Brought a reasonably big team out to uh, Great Britain to this World Cup. But, uh, Shauna, the only one to progress to this stage. Yeah. Let's see what she can do now. Third try. Pulls on. Ooh. Oh, she's nearly got that dialed. Yeah, that was close. She just looked like she was a bit short on that right hand. Yeah. 
catching it with just her fingertips. She's trying right again. Yeah, obviously it didn't take too much energy that go. Let's have a look. That's a bit more like nice. it. I don't think we'll see a lot of attempts on this bowler, particularly if people get to the upper sections of it yeah. because it's just so physical. Mm -hmm. So what method are we going to see here? Oh, we're trying to match this one. Going up with the Whoa. left hand and making it stick. And that's the second to last volume. That one on the top left of your screen that's is the top. Are we about to see Shona Coxie claim her first top of this final here in Moscow? Wow. The left hand is there. And there's the right. That was quite a fight. That was quite a fight. 20 seconds to go. I don't think she'd have had the energy for another go, let yeah. alone the time. Nice work from her. That will move her up into fifth place. Yeah, and it there looks like a really hard one for the woman. Petra Klingler currently in the top three. Yeah. Two tops for her. Second go and fifth go on the first and second boulders, second, uh, respectively. Sorry, third go and fifth go. So the Slovenian team might go off with three medals. <laughs> <laughs> Steady on. But yeah, Yanni Garmbrek currently doing her bit for the Slovenian medal collection. Yeah. Petra Klingler might have something to say about that. Okay, so first up, she's got to get the jump. It's left, right, just like that. Mm. There's not a, not really a huge amount of hidden uh, beta for this boulder. Yeah. Just pull hard. Especially for the first going. part. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, because I'm not sure what Chona did was the beta the Roosters planned. This is looking pretty promising yeah. for Petra Klingler. Could be a flash. Could be. She needs to keep her cool. It's Just a steep part of the wall. Nice. Oh. Yes. Nicely done, Petra Klingler. I think that was close when that left hand landed. Yeah. It's not a good hold, the last one. So that puts Petra into first place. Three tops, three zones, nine attempts and eight attempts, respectively. Miho Nanako will be next on to the mats. I think Mio will enjoy this boulder. It fits her style. I think you could well be right. So both climbers out so far have succeeded on it. Petra Klingler got it first go. Shona Coxie fourth go. And it's burly. It's a fight. Yeah. Like I said, you have to, you have to give everything to do it. Yeah, it's a nice boulder. You don't get the impression that there's one real crux. Yeah. But there's no easy it's moves true. either. Even that last move to the top, I think Petra, that was fingertips. Yeah. So here goes Miho. If she can get it done in less than four attempts, she'll take the lead. What do you think? Will she do it first go? You're putting me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm always inclined to say they can do it. Oh, that's a different better. Okay, slightly different method. Looks good. It does look good. Looks really good. I suppose the only reason it might not be good is it's just more time hanging there. Yeah. But, but only, I a, think it only saves a couple a lot of, of seconds. Power yeah, I agree. This last part. I agree. Okay, so as we've seen, that is the second to last volume, so you'll go up with the right Whoa. hand. This is hard, not matching the zone hold. Yeah, I think I heard that hand land from here. Yeah. Dunk. <laughs> yeah. There we go, no problem for Miho. Ooh. Flash, ball to three. Nice. 
you called it. Yeah. Heads back in. Yeah, quick fist pump. Where's that banana she was waving? Yeah. Admiring. <laughs> Just repeated it without the banana. So, uh, women's three done by every climber at this stage. Yeah. Two flashes. It's really interesting how sometimes you can um, you can find some like other betas that works just as well, even better. And like when you see the boulder, you see what the roots are planned really fast. I think you you can see that they plant a dino. So sometimes you get stuck on that method. But when you try to think, you can find some cool betas like Mio. I think it was way easier the way she did it. So here's uh, Akio Noguchi, legend of the game. Four overall World Cup titles for her. We've seen this boulder flash twice. Can we see a third? Yeah. It's been topped by all three climbers. Flash by two. Akio, I'm sure, will be well aware of that. When Petra and Miho emerge back in with big smiles on their faces. And no. she also goes for the static method. Yeah, they method. planned it together, probably. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. They probably did. She's uh, oh, quite really a bit taller. Yeah, quite a bit taller as well, Akio. Yeah. So it makes that move slightly easier. Would also, of course, probably make the jump a bit easier, but she goes for the static method. Ooh, let's see what she can do. She made it look easy. Yeah, right hand lands, left hand lands. She nice. was confident. When <laughs> went nice. straight for the top, didn't bother with the heel hook on the volume. Yeah. Straight through. Okay, so three flashes out of four. Yeah. Just like you said, she's in incredib incredible form. Yeah, she's never really had a dip in form, but I have to say this season she looks yeah. particularly impressive. She's done all she can on Boulder 3. Out next will be Fanny Gibert. French climber. No top for her so far, just the one zone. I don't think I'm alone in thinking that Fanny Gibert's got a big result in her this season. But yeah. it doesn't look like it's going to be here in Moscow. Just a waiter on the stage. And then after her, it will be Yanya Garmbret, and then somehow we're on to the final boulder. Just seen uh, Tomoe Narasaki walk past our position. I think he's off to uh, doping control. He'll be back for the podium. I think she will try to jump. Okay, you heard it here first. Oh. One word from you, yeah. and look what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely realise yeah. predictions are not a good road. Maybe Euro. she speaks Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's looked really powerful, Fanny Vajibar. This is a, it's, it's such a brutal boulder, but she doesn't Ooh. look as if she's trying that hard. Yeah. We saw Miho kind of slap onto that volume. Yeah. Fanny Gibert just cruised onto it nice and gentle. And she did Easy. not look taxed by that. So four flashes, Fanny Gibert. Just having a good final look at number four. <laughs> Doing the, the slow walk off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> she had three minutes and nine seconds left. That's very, very impressive. Yeah. Fanny Gibert. So Yanya Garmbret, she gets it done first time. She'll move up to first place.
Here she is. Three years into her career, a legend already. And she's looking for a flash to take the lead here in Moscow, and then it will come down to boulder number four. I remember in the youth B, I saw her climb uh, her first camp, international camp, and she did better than all the other categories on the final routes, so all the youth A and juniors, and I, I was shocked, and <laughs> now we can see <laughs> it wasn't a coincidence. Yeah, where did that strong Slovenian girl end up that I saw in the youth B? Oh, here yeah. she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it really needs this first time. It's funny how the the situation changes. Shauna Cox got it fourth go, and suddenly by the time Yanya comes out, you need it Ooh. first time, and that that was tight. hard. And again, didn't use yeah. the feet that much. Job done. Well, we didn't see much of Boulder three, up and off. Yeah. Here we go. Five flashes out of uh, out of six finalists. Boulder four coming up. And you go on Brett leading the way. Mihon and Acker in second place. And Petra Klingler. So we've got lead World Cup champion and world champion. Previous World Cup winner and Boulder World Champion as our top three. Yeah. And right now Yanya and Mio are tied. So it's all up to this boulder. Currently separated by the semi-final result, yeah. but uh, always nice when a climber wins it outright. Yeah, true. We we do like Tomo did. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think it's. Uh, it's and here they did last camp. Yeah. One top more than the second place. So the venue just goes quiet here in Moscow again. Yeah. Crowd have come in and out of it here this evening, haven't they? There's been <laughs> times when they've been going crazy. Yeah. Other times when they've just gone quiet. <laughs> it's uh, quite an unusual shot. I believe this fourth problem will make them go wild. And those lower legs belong to that woman, Shauna Coxie. Out onto the mat for boulder number four. <laughs> So we start here with a jump out to the left, described as a skate move. Yeah. Another precision move. You have to be precise with your leg and hand, hitting them both together, I believe. Yeah, again, it's, it's, a, it's a timing and accuracy thing here. It's been a, a common thread in this final here in Moscow. Let's have a look what she's got. Yeah. So the run of five flashes in a row is uh, ended on number four. Yeah. It's the first time we've seen a climber fall off a boulder for about 15 minutes. Mm. This boulder will change everything. It looks yeah, it's going to. <laughs> yeah, it looks hard. Bear in mind as well, the climbers can see the results at the end of every boulder, so Yanya yeah. and Miho know exactly what's going oh on. Oh yeah, that's true. How will they don't know they're tied. That's interesting. Oh she gets it third time, sure. So just to yeah, there we go, that's the camera angle. She'll begin to cut right her right. Our right as we look at it. And you can see the top hold. So this is a third go, Shauna. She's close to the top, yeah. It's pretty good, that last volume. Now, when she releases her left toe, it could cause a few problems. She's going to yeah. inevitably swing. Will she just lunge in one movement? I think she will. Ah, oh, oh, that was close. so close. A few centimeters more would be enough. Again, waving that left shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, you could you could see the conundrum she had there. As soon as that left toe was released, she knew she was going to swing, so she's got to time it. She oh, that was so close. Yeah, she kind of got her fingers onto the top hold. She really needed the middle of her hand, the palm of her hand, to slap that top hold. 
Uh, I think maybe it will be better to get that volume matched without the toe. Maybe you can... Yeah, she was quite reliant on that toe yeah. to keep her where she was. Yeah. And she was really stretched at this position. That familiar feeling that all climbers know of, I made it. Oh, no. I'm and stuck look at the here. Next move. <laughs> There we go, Shauna. She knows she's not going to win here. She might as well enjoy the moment. Yeah. Ah, it's still hard, even after you've done it. One minute left. One minute left. Oh! Gets it that time. That was crazy. So she's got enough time. I don't think she'll have another attempt after this. She knows yes. uh, she's not going to get a medal, so no it's point risking any potential injury. So yeah, now or never, what will the method be? Goes, matches that second to last volume. Different setup this ah. time. Sadly, the same outcome for Shauna. Just looking across at the mats. I think she's yes. had enough. She has. Heads back in, currently City in fifth place, could be uh, displaced by Fanny Gibert, but given where she's at right now, fitness-wise, Shauna Coxie, two finals in a row, very good result from her yeah. first two World Cups. So Petra Klingler will be out now. Has the opportunity to take the lead. That's true, yeah. She's on three tops. She could make it four here. i tell you what, fl a flash on this would make things very interesting. Yeah. She's not very far behind Yanya and Mio. Just three tries. Yeah, just to bring you up to date with the scores, we've got three climbers with three tops. Yanya Garnbrett, Miho Nanaka, and that lady there, Petra Klinglet. Akio Noguchi's got two. Shauna Coxley, who's finished, has got one. And has, so has Fanny Gibert, who's yet to climb on this final boulder. <laughs> Petra sets up, oh, and just the left foot goes. Still, if she can keep the uh, number of attempts quite low. Yeah, that is important here for sure. She's really in the reckoning. Yeah. She used a lot of attempts oh, on uh, nice. done on Boulder 2. Yeah, and it was fast. Yeah, she used a lot of attempts on Boulder 2. That could come back to cause her problems. Yeah. If Kuna Gucci gets this one done fast, but we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Let's just see how she does. Again, it, it deceptively physical, this boulder. It's on a steep section of wall. You perhaps can't tell from this angle. But just staying in each position, let alone Ooh. moving, is, is difficult. Yeah. She's trying to figure out what to do. Having an interesting beta. Oh! Again, and she pings off. Yeah, that right hand just popped. As for the brushes. Yeah, she, she got plenty of time left. Yeah, she's got plenty of time left for... I'm just looking well the first attempt wasn't really an attempt with the foot slip that one took her quite a while she'll have time for one long attempt and probably another one as well yeah so two really good attempts should she need them this boulder looks very toppable but that top section just got to find the right position again i like the setting here you get the the jump at the start compose yourself and then yeah. technical body positioning at the top it's nice We've seen a lot of dinos tonight. Interestingly enough, by having four zones, because of the change in emphasis in the scoring system, Ooh, Petra's now in the lead nice. anyway. Yeah, that's true, yeah. She got the bonus. The zone. The, the zone, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Might not be the last time someone says that, myself <laughs> included. Yeah. So she's back into position towards the top of the wall. Setting it up for the top. Petra Klingler lining it up. Can she become the first climber to get four tops? Ooh. What's the method here? Is she going to match that yeah. triangle of volume or is she going to launch from here? I 
think she might be lining it up from here. Ooh, Ooh that was an interesting nice. You could really understand. Tried the one two. You could really understand how bad is the cream when she thought about not taking it and taking <laughs> yeah. the volumes. Yeah, so it's always a sign that it's a bad hold when World Cup winners yeah. and World Champions choose not to use it. <laughs> <laughs> that was really close. 40 seconds to go, so time whoa, could be an issue. Yeah. She certainly needs to get the jump first going. She hasn't, just to let you know, I could see her. So she missed the jump that time. She's got 30 seconds now. Last one try. This is surely the last real try. Oh, okay. ho, ho, now it's getting interesting. Got the jump. Now it's a race for the top. She should, in her head, have the method sorted. Oh, oh no. Just rushing slightly. Oh. <laughs> she try again? I guess, why not? It's already the last boulder, yeah. Yeah, she's uh. already secured the zone. That's a shame for Petra Klingler. Yeah. Still, she sits in first place. Got an anxious weight on her hands. Miona Naka's up next. Simple maths as it stands. If she tops it, she goes first. Yeah. And if she gets the zone pretty quickly, she'll probably go first as well. Yeah, she just need, needs to get it. She just needs to get it. Let's yeah. keep it simple. <laughs> Here's Miho Nanaka. Three tops so far. Here goes Miho. She's trying. Yeah, she's trying something different. Yeah. Gamba Gamba, so the Japanese. Ooh, flashing the jump. Nicely done. Yeah. So we're seeing both Shauna Coxie and Petra Klingler get up here. In fact, yeah. we've seen them both touch the top hold. So this one is not if done she will flash until this it's one, done. It will make thing really interesting for Yanya. Ooh. And she's done it, Miho Nanaka. She tops women's four. She flashes number four. She won last week <laughs> in Meiring and now in Moscow. She can only sit she's and wait. She's close to winning this World Cup as well. I liked how she gave a little kiss to the top hold. <laughs> she was so happy. Clever climbing as well from Miho Nanaka low down. She kind of, instead of standing there studying, she got on the holds and saw how it felt. Yeah. She tested right foot out, left foot out. Yeah. And nice work. this last move was perfect for her. Yeah. Brilliantly done, Miho Nanaka. Nice shot as well. She came right towards us on our camera. Yeah. So that's a pretty decent scorecard for Miho Nanaka. Two flashes and the other bowlers took her two and three attempts. She's only required seven attempts in total to do the lot. Yeah. So Petra Klingler didn't have to wait too long to find out if she was getting the gold medal. About 45 seconds, sadly, for her. And she yeah. was displaced at the top of the rankings. Here's Akio. You can still climb to third place, I believe. Yeah, the wind's yeah. gone because she didn't get number one done. If, yeah. Even second if Yanya won't do the zone, which is unlikely. <laughs> Let's see. Podium spot's still up for grabs. Yeah. That is for sure. Just to let you know, Fanny Gibert can't make it onto the podium, and Shauna Coxie's already finished her round, and she's in fifth, could end up in sixth. So fifth and sixth will be those two. Top four, Mihona Naka, Petra Klingler, Yanya Gambre, Akia Noguchi. minute 10 left for Akio. Fires out to the left. You're not getting that jump. I, I keep saying it every World Cup how well she's going. 
Yeah. Need to convert it to a win sooner or later, but <laughs> she does look in great form. Doesn't miss many finals. Yeah. Ooh, nicely done. That was really good. Yeah, nice work. Stuck it that time. Let's see if you can do that last move. Yeah, that top hold looks a bit closer for nice. someone tall like Akia Naguchi. Yeah, same method. Yeah, dynamically, her and Akia uh, and Miho, excuse me, have definitely been yeah. chatting during observation and behind the wall, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. You see a few similarities in their methods. Akia Naguchi, ever consistent in the last couple of seasons. Good little stat for you. She's entered 15 World Cups, all World Championships, and made the final of 11. Ooh, How's that for consistency? Right. Yeah. And uh, another good stat, that I think it was uh, Mike Langley last week pointed out, was uh, her first, her worst ever World Cup finish is 31st, and that was in a speed cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ever consistent. It won't be winning here today, sadly for her. But it's only a matter of time, surely. Always seems to go well in China. And yeah. We've got two Chinese World Cups coming up. So, Fanny Gibert. She is competing for fifth. She's currently sitting sixth. A top or a zone do. is enough to get her into fifth place. Whoa, didn't need the, the foot there. Nice work. From Fanny Gibert. Yeah. She could really show her best on the last two problems, I think. Wow. That was crazy. And nice. Somehow holds a swing. Her right leg almost hit the back of her head. <laughs> yeah. She hung on to it. It was really cool to see her. She went to the vo to the one before the last volume um, with her left hand and then bumped her right hand to the crimp. Yeah. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, you can see it was her left leg. Yeah. Ended up the same height as her head. Incredible. That's why you stretch your hip flexors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, things are getting really tight now. So, believe it or not, Yanya Garnbreth is currently in fourth place. Yeah. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> if she flashes this boulder, she will have the same score as Miho Nanaka and she will win on count back to the semi finals. Yeah, but she has to flash that one. She has to flash it. Yeah. If she gets it, regardless of the attempt, she'll end up second. But if she flashes it, she'll win the competition. God, we've seen Yanni Garmret in this position so many times where it's, if she can do it, she'll win. Yeah, she's smiling. Let's yeah, see what she can do. Well, she normally delivers. That's why. And she knows that. So needs this. No. Gets that's a the good jump. start for her. The crowd know what's involved here. Yeah. My heart rate's up, let alone the Slovenian team, let alone the Japanese team. Miho Nanaka wants to make it two World Cup wins in a row. Yanya Garmbret wants to win a Boulder World Cup this year. And this crimp is really bad, you can see there. Yanya Garmbret lining it oh, up, she does it. Oh, and that's the gold medal. Yanya Garmbret always does it, she always finds a way. She yeah. had to flash the bowler to win. And she did. And she did it. Extraordinary stuff from Yanya Garmbret. Unbelievable. I do not know how she does it. It's as if she's, whether she knows the score or not, it's as if she just has an intuition of what she needs to do. Yeah, exactly. Let's have another look at it. So she set up, didn't like the right foot, left hand lands, right hand lands, and she was screaming with joy midway through the swing. So nice. What a final here. Well, you don't see many tired scores in bouldering. Yeah. That's but we have that's one today. True. Let's have a look at them uh, on the screen. Yanni Garmbret, there you see it. Same scores Miho Nanaka. Miho will not get much closer to make it two in a row than that. Kianaguchi rounds off the podium to continue her extraordinary run of success in World Cups. Petra Klingler, three tops, narrowly misses out on the podium. At this, uh, after her go on Boulder number four, she was yeah. in first. 
Fanny Gibert with two tops end up in fifth. And Shauna Coxie matches her result in Mayring and ends up in sixth place. Let's have a look at the uh, men's results. Quick recap for you as well. If you are just tuning in, Tomoa Narasaki is back on the top of the podium. Yerne Kruder ended up second. And Gregor Vazonik in his second semi-final and his first final here in Moscow takes home a bronze medal. John Wonchon ends up fourth. Alexei Rubsov fifth. Gabrielli Moroni sixth. In what the women, work. they had a Slovenian first place and two Japanese to fill out the podium. On, on the men, they had a Japanese on the top of the podium and two Slovenians to fill it up. Those two nations. Yeah. There must be something in the water. <laughs> yeah. We'll try to uh, grab a word with Yanya Gambra if we can. That's what we're up against, though. She's getting congratulations. Her her run of success continues, and that <laughs> is Vincent Cousy, the technical delegate here, and uh, Vincent is grabbing Yanya so that we can speak to her, hopefully. Yeah. You can see here the amazing light show being put on by the Moscow organizers, but it's nothing compared to what we've just seen. Yeah. Superb final in both the men's and the women's. Lots of tops in both. Both winners topped all four boulders. We had this discussion so earlier close. on. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Some people don't, such as the man sitting next to me likes more of a chess match, but wonderfully entertaining final non-stop action. Never really felt like we paused for breath. Yanni Garmbrett, I can see it being dragged through the crowd of well wishes. I feel slightly bad bringing her <laughs> over here. There's a lot of people at home who'd like to hear from her. Yeah. Yeah, she's just she's just got that amazing ability. If you have to get to one more hold on the lead route than the next person, or she needs to flash it, or she, she needs to get the boulder done second go, third go. Yeah. It's, it's as if Every she, time. Yeah, she just finds a way. And sometimes she just do way better. <laughs> <laughs> other times, yeah. she doesn't do just what's required. She just absolutely kills everyone. That's yeah. the other <laughs> option. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have a, a, a small version of the podium ceremony now, I believe, yeah. before we speak to Yanya. A bit like we did with the men. A flower ceremony. And then, as I say, we'll try to grab a word with it. Good day for the Japanese and Slovenian teams. Yeah, Japan doesn't have many bad days, but they have a particularly <laughs> good one. That's true. They claim half the medals and Slovenia take the other half. Yeah. Moscow has put on a wonderful show as well. I have to say, yeah. uh, everyone I've spoken to has loved being in the city as well. It's a great place to visit. You ever get the chance to come here? It's fascinating. Yeah. Red Square is all I hoped it would be. <laughs> yeah. And that's a high five there for Akia Noguchi. Now, I'd give her some real style points if she turned it with an apple on her head. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and Neil with a banana. <laughs> There's Miho Nanaka. She came so close to winning two in a row. Yeah. She's uh, never quite got over the line and won the overall World Cup title, but she's, yeah. she's got she's a pretty good shot at it close, this year. Yeah. There is Yanya Garmbret. Quick hug for Akio and for Miho. They all get their flowers. It's great, the uh, traditional dress. Josh Levin commented it on it on the uh, in the speed climbing final. Great yeah. to see traditional dress represented. And every organizer does something a bit different with the ceremony. Really nice to see. Yeah. <laughs> Gamma Gamma says the venue MC. It's the practice is Slovenian. I think Yanya should just stand there forever, like... She don't need to go down. Okay, Yuval, I believe Yanya is heading over now, so we have to say yeah. goodbye.
thank you so much for your help. It's been an absolute pleasure having you yeah, on. Yeah, it was fun being here. Thank you. Thank you for your insight. Are we seeing you in uh, China? Uh, not in China. But Bale, in the Tokyo? Just in the lead okay. World Cups. <laughs> All right. Well, we're looking yeah. forward to it. And as I say, really appreciate your help. And when I've done speaking to Yanya, yeah. it's my round in the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Just making her way over now. Yanya Garnbrett. We'll just do the headset swap. Yanya, welcome. We seem to do this a lot. You seem to know how to win every time. You just seem to know what is required. <laughs> Yeah, it was a tough round because me and Miho were the same till the last boulder because now we can see results in the isolation zone. Um, so I knew that I had to flash the last boulder and I'm super happy that I managed to keep my head calm and uh, yeah, clear. So I wanted to like wait uh, till my time is over and then try to flash the boulder and see what happens. And then I said, okay, let's do it. It will be what it will be. <laughs> so I flashed it and yeah, it's amazing. What was it like when you held that swing? It yeah, it was amazing. It looked like you were close when you went left. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't close to fall. Yeah. It was just that, uh, that pressure, a little pressure on you to flash it. But uh, then I just said, yeah, it will be what it will be. So I went it like 100% in the move. And you're not doing the, the full bouldering season. Just tell us where we can see you bouldering this year. Yeah, it's true. Uh, for now, this is my last comp this year. Uh, I won't go to China, Japan and Vail. Oh, but come you on. The but public <laughs> want to see you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it's cool now. Uh, yeah. But you will see me in Munich. OK, we'll see you in Munich. Yes. Janja, we're used to you winning, but every time it's spectacular. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just try, yeah, I just do my best. <laughs> you know what's great is you never see you never seem to get used to it. It seems like every time it's just as exciting. Yeah, and of course. I hope that's always the case. So we'll see you uh, in July. Yes. For the lead season. Yes. You should bunk off school and come to Vail in Tokyo, but hey, <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> I would like to, but I can't. <laughs> We'd love to see you there. But we'll see you in July and uh, we will see you in August for Munich. Yes. So thank you very much for watching. Another fantastic competition here in Moscow. Another gold medal for this lady. We'll see you in a couple of weeks' time in China. Thank you for watching.